right hey, when Smith Rowe is back doing this, no one bread. Again. Come on, Ian. Come on, Ian. <laughs> come, on, come on, Ian. Appreciate that, Ian. Right, and as I normally say, people deluded. I'm back again. I've got Guna Lee in the building. Special guest settings. Mm -hmm. How you doing, my friend? We finally got it. You got to pay your late fine, though, man. Pop a black man. Listen, listen, <laughs> listen. You know how I was driving? I was driving like a madman to get back, bro. It's crazy, but yeah, I'm back. I'm back. I'm, we're back, man. And we got. A lot to chop up, though. We've got a lot to chop up still. So. We do, man. Yeah, man and and listen, you. happy to see the commitment he's got to bringing you lot content, man. Again, I know he doesn't really <laughs> pay attention to his YouTube and he's all over the place, but make sure you're following him on YouTube and things like that. As the man said, yeah. we've got a lot to discuss. And truthfully, yeah. I don't know where to start. So I'm going to start with Benjamin White. Obviously, my man signed a new deal. I can't imagine you don't know. Yeah. What do you make of that? Have you always been convinced by him? Do you think he has a future at centre half? Do you think right back's his own? What's all your thoughts in relation to that, my friend? I'll be so real with you, bro. People think I'm mad that I've been saying it for the longest time. Ben White's my favourite player. And I think for me, the reason why, why we, we, we talk about players like Saka, the reason why is because Ben White is actually a, a contributing factor to him being so good because of the overlaps. When he wasn't looking good at it in earlier in the season, Saka, it was because Ben White was told to stay back. So listen, you're only as good as your team. But for me, I just feel like the way that he's kind of so nonchalant, he doesn't really care about what people think about him. Man just goes, does his suntan, come back, plays football, balls out Fact. week in a week out, plays free injury. For me, listen, man, like he's a leader and he's he reminds me a bit of older guard. He's a leader in his own way. Like man ain't got to be shouting, hooting, hollering and doing the Fact. Patrick Vieira thing, doing the whole company meeting bro like man does an interview acts like he don't care balls out gives you an eight out of ten week in week out there's been a few sticky games this season where he wasn't as great but i think the team weren't playing as good and i think you know there were contributing factors to that but for me listen man the guys he's a baller man he's a baller as you said, man, I think with Benjamin White, I wouldn't quite say he's underappreciated, but I feel he is. Like like you kind of said with Saka, you know, he's not going to score from 30 yards and grab the headlines like Saka and all the other attackers, but he's versatile, he's intelligent. Um, you know, I think what goes against him is, you know, when people say he doesn't care about football, I don't care if you want to watch mm. a million games or none, in it. But I think he's dedicated to his craft and that's all I care about. He's clearly intelligent because he's been doing up inverted, played as a centre-half. And we both know you need to be so intelligent to play in them, in them roles that Mikel Arteta demands. Obviously, you know, with Zinchenko, he seems like he's out of the plans at the moment. Benjamin White's been inverted. Do you think, like, we don't really need Zinchenko in that regards then, from one fullback to another? You know, it's, bro, it's so crazy because this morning I was chatting to my boy about this and, you know, obviously I'm sure there's a wider conversation that we can have but mm. there's a few players that they're on the chopping block this season name and names name names name ones. names and i think listen i was even i even wrote it down because i had to actually deep it like I, so it was it was ramsdale Tavares, tierney lukonga Partey probably reluctantly for me but the injuries esr nelson and ketia obviously and el nene and um uh, and cedric are going yeah so those are the players that we can probably get about 95 million pounds. I was trying to do the, I was trying to do the maths on it. And then I looked at Zinchenko and I'm like, right, if we've got two, two right backs to Tommy. Well. Yeah, if we've got two right backs who Tommy and um and Ben White, we've got Kivior who can play center back with Ben with say with Gabriel and Saliba. And then you've got two left backs with um uh, what's his name? It was who was the other one? It was who was the other left Timber. back? Timbar and um, who? No, no, Kivio, Kivio. So it was just Kivio that. So I was saying Kivio can play left back with with Timbar. Then in truth, really and truly, you need a centre back, and Zinchenko's got a goal. Because I'm looking at it and I'm like, well, what where else do you need him for? Like, like he's 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 not a conventional left back. Yeah, he offers us a lot going forward, but defensively, he's always kind of got a mistake in him. So I, I don't know. I looked at it and I thought Zinchenko, I, I could easily see him go. I could easily see him go. And I, it's not to say that he's not good. I think the injuries, 
And I think the fact that, that I feel like the team's basically evolved past him. That's all it is. I don't think he's a crap player. I just feel like the team's evolved past him. And yeah, that's 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 just kind of how I feel about it. So I feel like Zinchenko's one that he 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 needs to um count his count his chickens because I feel like he could easily be leaving this season. I mean, it's shameless, but I've got a video coming out. I'm actually in the process of, you just said it, chopping block there really and truly. And I feel the yeah. system is, well, not even the system the, or the team, it's harsh to say, but it's kind of left him. I feel mm. he's in that predicament that he felt at City and that when he came, was playing week yep. in, week out, doing his thing. As we get better mm. in terms of creativity, as we just said, Benjamin White doing inverted. Hopefully mm. we sort the midfield out properly in the summer. Jorginho mm. and Rice are doing their thing with Odegaard. I think the pros to Zinchenko's game kind of become obsolete. I think there's roles in games for him but mm. you know as you said there you know he's going to be shaky defensively and you're prepared to kind of or Arteta's kind of prepared to live or die by that because of what he's going to give you in the yeah. opponent's half I feel when the sun's shining at the Emirates Zinchenko do your thing and there has been there tough situations where he's obviously did well but I just don't think he's the guy I feel Tommy Asu is never going to be him in the final third but until his injury he looked good obviously Kirill's playing more as a conventional fullback and he's looking all right now Benjamin White picks up the pieces on the other side so I'm with you with that you don't mm. feel there's a few Future that Zinchenko could have because he does have a wealth of experience and he hasn't organically started in midfield, but he could play as an eight or a ten. To, you know, to be devil's advocate. I, I did, I did think that he could possibly be used as a squad player in terms of, but it, but I just thought, well, that's the reason why he left Man City because he wanted to be a first teamer, he wanted to be a leader. So I just thought, well, hold on, if you're going to be this auxiliary kind of left back and you're going to kind of play in the midfield, you're doing the same thing that you were doing at Man City. But you're basically, in, let's be frank, you're not winning as much. So what was the point leaving? So I just don't see why he's going to want to do that. Listen, in London, life might attract him. The money might attract I don't know. But I'm just looking at him as a player. And I'm thinking the same reason why you left Man City, where you were playing games, you were playing 25 games a season and you were winning two, three trophies a season. What's the point? So I just think sometimes there are some players that the squad just moves past you. And... Listen, there might be a situation at Chelsea, for example, where Reese James, the squad just moves past you, and you've got James listen, I don't I, I, And it's not just say that he's not a good player because he's a fantastic player on his day. He's but when you've got Gusto, who who's consistently performing at, at, at a decent level, I'm not going to say world class, but he's he's and he's only 20 years old. Good it player. almost comes. Like you, you become a little bit obsolete, bro. Like man, don't need you here. Like the, demanding, you don't, you can't be demanding in certain stuff when you're you got somebody who's under your understudy who's performing at a certain level that can get you to a certain point so i don't know man i i think zinchenko somebody who as you as we said i think his days might be numbered i think his days might be numbered putting him in midfield and then i thought about it, it and i thought all right well Jorginho is going to get a new contract that's that's for sure he's going to get a new contract i think the whole party thing i don't know what's going to happen with that because he's got one year left in the summer Obviously, Declan Rice is going to be there. And I think one of Miles, Lewis Skelly or uh, Noweri, Ethan, I think one of them are going to be in the squad next season. I think they're going to get five games, 10 games next season. Obviously, I don't know, 55 games in a season, how many games where trophies are going to be in. So I think one of them going to be, you know, part of the squad like properly. So, and I was seeing training videos of, um, of Lewis Skelly yesterday and... Bro, like Baller. for seventeen, bro, he looks he looks big now. Like he's he's growing. Like he's he's pause. he's got that kind of growth scrub. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Major pools, but he looks like he's actually in a position where yo yo, I, you're yeah. moving mad. <laughs> <laughs> you're moving crazy. You're moving crazy. <laughs> yo 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 yo. You know what? When, when pause, the, video ends, you, the whole channel, people. The whole hour yeah, is cool. Yeah, yeah. However long it's like calm, it's calm. You might edit that out for me you know <laughs> <laughs> but yo hey, that yeah, yeah, yeah. He, he, he's developing in stature let's just say that as a person he's developing in it so listen I, I, I'm very I'm very impressed with what I'm seeing with him obviously on the pitch we need to see it but I think he's going to take one of those squad positions in terms of actually a first team or so yeah man I, I think it's um, it, he, I just don't see if he's going to get as many games as he probably wants that's just the way I look at it 
And that's the way I look at it as well. It's like, obviously, Gabriel Jesus and Zinchenko, when they joined initially, were doing our little project. We was at a different phase. There's more game time and mm. there's transferable experience. Like, you, you lot may have not been... It's a bit harsh to say Jesus and Zinchenko weren't key players because they were, but you might not have been the go-to men necessarily for City, but mm. compared to us, she was. Mm. And, you know, it was a relationship of convenience. You know, our te- you know what we're doing, London aspect, aspiring club. Mm. As we're getting better with them two being in that scenario, is put up or shut up. And as much as I love Gabriel Jesus, and I think our fans are doing a bit too much with Trossard and Havertz with the greatest of respect, mm. Zinchenko, there's some big competition. It's either you make yourself a guy that plays week in, week out, or you shut up. And you, yeah. man, have been in competitive environments, so you know what time it is. I share your points on midfield. I would love Miles to come through. I think there's one, two bits in his game that he can improve, but he's doing well in the six. Ethan, mm. I think Ethan's one of them that initially you might play out wide, but the man himself has said he's a 10 or an so I think the pathway is there. Mm-hmm. Not quite sure what we do do with Charlie Patton. I think the club might say, you know what, we want to give you game time. Yeah, but there's money a, to be made. Shame. It's a shame with him. Yeah, him oh, and Mika Berra, there's money to be made there. That's why I think they're in they're in trouble. And I don't know how you feel, but in an mm-hmm. ideal world, I would like two central midfielders. I would like another number six or an eight. Now, realistically, Smith Rowe's probably gone, but if he doesn't, him, Fabio, Havertz, they could all play there. As you said, Jorginho's going to get another deal. Partey, it probably depends if we can get him off. But if he is gone, you'd imagine a Zuba Mendy or something um, improves mm-hmm. there. What 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 roles would you would you say take us to the next level? Because for me, I would like a striker, I'd like a wing, I'd like a centre mid. And I think we need another defender, you know, or a versatile one, if I'm honest. Uh, all right, cool. So if we go from the back, we know Ramsdale's going. So because he obviously the whole yeah, England thing. Yeah, we Let's just say we, we need another keeper. Yeah, we need a second keeper. I think they're looking at, you know, one of them. Them reborn Americans that are just you know just their part of the squad, whatever in it. I'd like, this one as well. As long as it fits what our yeah, yeah, wants, yeah. I love it. There you go, cool, whatever in it. So that's one. We then I think we need a centre back. I think we need another centre back because you've got Gabriel, yeah. who's played what minus the first four games of the season. He played every single game. You've also got um Saliba, who I believe has played every single game. There was a report, I don't know if you saw it from the athletic, obviously, other new news let out news outlets are available, and I'm sure you even spoke about it on your channel. That he paid three thousand minutes this, so far this season, bro. That's mad thing, bro, not crazy, that is. bro. Three thousand minutes, bro, through an injury. That's, bro, that's a crazy, thing. bro. Like no rest. So obviously, we, I think with the Tommy Yasu injury and the Ben White and the, and the um, Timber injury, that's just been massive because obviously we've not been able to rotate anybody. So I think we need a centre back, and you keep the, the the four fullbacks that you've got, and obviously if you've got a youngster coming up, whatever, you keep it moving. Yeah, gap, yeah, pause. Plug, yeah, literally like that. So you and so I, I think definitely a centre back is needed because I just don't see Kivior being that guy to come in and replicate what Gabriel does because you need someone who's a stopper and you need someone who's a coverer. And I just don't see whether I don't see him being either to the level that we need for Arsenal, like for me personally. So I think what he's doing right now, be, just keep doing that left back role because you're looking good doing it like you're looking very good you're looking solid you look like you like man's doing no look passes and stuff like he looks nice in it so just keep him looks there a lot more confident keep him, now keep him in the road i was literally about to say keeping him in the rotation i think the big issue then comes into the midfield with party if you've got party and he's fit for 38 game season but if he's fit for 29 i think you can live i think you can live with him but i think we're gonna we're gonna cash him from i think we're gonna cash him because you've got one year left and I just don't think they're gonna they're gonna they're gonna keep that money they're keep keep it keep him paying him basically because man's getting injured at baby showers like that's crazy so <laughs> I think bro, bro, any, bro that's mad this week. probably you know, man apple juice up the kidney table baby. man pulling his hammies bro, bro that is crazy bro man's kicking one there like that's all mad so I think I think, I think Zubimendi is somebody who like I don't think he's all that I I really don't but when you see what, what? Jorginho's been doing. Bro, like, you know what? I don't want to go crazy, though, because last season, this very time last season, I was on this very show, and I was saying that I don't rate certain man who's Declan Rice. And now now look how I look. But At least he fronts up to the music, folks, man. Many people don't. Listen, I've given my apologies, bro. I don't know. I can't. People can't get onto me, bro. I've said it how many times, man. I've said, like, it is what it is. like. But he's proven me. But I I just don't know if Declan Rice is a... Eight or a six. I I think he's better as a six. He looks good in the eight, but I think he looks better in a six. So what would I do with that? ESR, I just don't think he's going to get the opportunities. I don't think he's trusted. I don't even, it's not even a personal thing. Remove me from a second. The manager's saying what he's saying on the pitch because he's not playing him. Fabio Vieira's trusted more than him. So 
you've got that. And then you've got Havertz, who's all, never going to come off the pitch because he can play left A or up front. So the midfield is the hardest part. And I would probably say get a six and obviously let Declan kind of do the high press thing with Odegaard. And then you've got someone solid behind. So if it's Subi Mendy, fine. If, if it's Subi Mendy, fine. But I'm not, I'm not as infused as maybe some others. The only reason why I do like him is because I feel like he can do what Jorginho does, playing that iron the needle, just keep it rotating, but with better legs. But again, and even Jorginho's done, he's done well. Like he's done well in some of the games that I've seen him. Like I think even from last season, I don't know if you remember when we played Newcastle away and he just yeah, came, he, he, he stood started, up oh, he tall, it. That's when, when party got subbed, like, he was out of the team because he was putting in poor performances. Mine came in, stepped up. So, Listen, I think the midfield is the hardest thing to think about. I, I think that's the one where if you're asking me what I would do, I would probably get a certified left eight. Who can Same. Almost, yeah. o- almost, almost where you think about, you know, the hype that Subozla came in. With. You know, he was going to be <laughs> yeah, this, yeah, yeah, this, yeah, this yeah. fun thing. Uh, your tweets still be with that guy. Well, go on. Bro, he's shit, man. He's, he's, bro, he's so dead, like. He's dead, man. I can't stand that guy. He's just people hype him up for no reason, but... Yo, yo! <laughs> I just see Jess in the chat. But chat, she's on. She's she's watching everything. You know, she's watching everything. Oh, mate, I don't, Jess, I don't know what you're watching. Jess, I don't know what you're watching. Let it go, Auntie man. You're too old for this, man. Yo, Come on, man. Thursday, don't take Thursday, it Thursday, Jess, man. Relax. Yes, Thursday, we we got a lot to chat about, Jess. Because then, you, know, you lot down the line, but it's calm, man. Certain <laughs> people, certain. It's funny because at the start, you know, certain people that you, that signed new deals. Allegedly, I'm not saying it was me, but Jess would say she's he's on the same level as Rob Holding. I don't make the rules. I'm just going out that that's a criminal wow. shout. That's more criminal than I could oh, ever no. say. I thought she knew no, Arsenal. No. I don't know, man. Every just anyone oh, could talk no. these days. Hey, listen, like, listen, listen. The word, the word plays crazy. The word plays crazy. <laughs> This is one of the one times that she can't give me verbal back now. Big up, Jess, man. Make sure you're subscribing. <laughs> but no, but I'll be up. Thursday, I know yeah, I'm going to war, man. If, you, if, you, if you're asking me now, I think I would get rid of ESR. I would get rid of I'll get rid of ESR. I'll get rid of Ruiz Nelson and I'll get rid of Enketia. And what I would do is I would genuinely say, look, use all of that money and get a certified wide forward and then I would get a left eight. That's that's what I would do. That's I'm what with I would you do. with that. I'm with you with that, man. Because as much as I like the rebuild, what Arteta and Eddie were doing, and I like, you know, obviously Smith Rowe isn't playing, but Smith Rowe can play there. Fabio Vieira can play there. Kai Havertz is not really what I want to see, but he can play there. Jorginho, I've got a lot of time for him. I think the issue with Jorginho, in fact, what I like about Jorginho is obviously I think he's better in the big games. When it's more of a chess match, manager mm. versus a manager, he comes into his own. Yeah. When the games are quite open, like Chelsea away or obviously Spurs at home, that's where I think Jorginho's strong. Struggles. And mm. as much as I like Jorginho, he does pick up knocks himself. He's not a 38 game man with the greatest mm. of respect. I want mm. someone to the level of Rice. It doesn't matter what Mikel Arteta is doing from a tactical point of view, Rice is about. Mm. I think Partey would be a bit interesting because I think Arteta likes him. Mm. He always says he's a key player, but as you know, there's that off field stuff. The man can't stay fit. I don't know if we'll be able to shift him like, like we attempted last summer. And I don't know if he'll undertake certain wages. I don't know if Partey will say, mm. Do you know what? I'm cool in London. I'm cool here. I'm going to run down my deal because mm. I'm on the wrong side of 30 make myself more attractive to other clubs but i just think we're missing a trick not addressing midfield i would love a reality where see, Odegaard you, goes see over thing, there. you see the other thing though is i look at it and i'm like bro we ain't got much experience in that team you know we need this to actually it. keep it bro like and i think obviously when we talk about it a bit later i'm sure we will that's why i'm a little bit worried for the champions league because of that experience or lack of, of it you but saw it with Salibra, if think, i'm honest with you at the emirates even him yeah, but exactly. Is that I was at that game as well, and like, bro, he he looks shaky as hell. Like, but I think for me, look, like That's I smart. think the midfield, I think mid, I, I do feel like the midfield is actually quite easy to to improve, bro, because like we've said, got so many eight, nice pieces. Cool. Bro, I think we've got so many nice pieces already. I just feel like you're you're adding Stardos. Like, you, I feel like it's a bit like the. I mean, I hate to compare it, but like the Liverpool thing where you're adding pieces of quality into, into that jigsaw to just certify us to win the league next season or to win right. the Champions League or whatever it is. And that's just kind of where that's just where I kind of look at it for me. I look at it and I think to myself just get pieces now that you're adding real quality. We're not at that stage as you mentioned earlier where the project meant that we needed to get hand me off from Man City. 
we're now at a point where we're, 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 we're with the big boys, we're with the big girls or whatever it is in, in, in terms of um trying to go for the big stars. And we want to go for those to add that star quality. And I think it's quite easy. I actually do think it's quite easy to do that for Arsenal right now because we've got such a good starting, what would you say, 13 players? The I first 11, you know, is certain, I think right? we've got a good 13, maybe 14. You know, on paper, Ramsdale counts yep. for now, whether, you know, Brentford, it's a madness. But yeah, like what? Off the top of my head, Raya, Ramsdale, I know he's injured, but Timber, I know people don't really rate him, but Zinchenko, Gabriel, Saliba, Rice, Odegaard, Saka, Martinelli, Trossard, whether we like him or not, and we'll get on to him, Kai Havertz is there to some degree, who else is there, Benjamin White, if I haven't made it clear, Tommy Yasu as well. So yeah, about a good 13, well, that's 14, like 14, I think we're just... Team players, bro. That's easy, players, yeah, it's calm, it's calm, bro. We're just missing think, a one, think, two guys. Yeah. I, exactly that. I think we need. I think we need three quality players: a centre back. Obviously, the key part is what it is, isn't it? Centre back. Because next season, if we buy, if we buy a Raya, you don't. He doesn't miss games, does he? You don't because we buy him in. No, no, he's, he's ours out right now. Outright. Isn't it? So I think that's what thirty million we've got to pay them or whatever it is, isn't it? So yeah, older than twenty-seven. Once, so we, yeah, 30, once we get him, yeah, I think once we get him, I've listened and I hold my hands up. Another one. Listen, I, I, I don't know whether or not he's good enough to win a league. But he, right now, he's playing well. So I'm not going to be shameless. I, I'm not his biggest fan. I, I do think Ramsdale is better than him. I don't care about the, the mistakes. I can't, I can't lie. I think, oh. I think that was dead now, you know, bro. I, think, I thought they were the same level, but I think he's dead now. Like, what does Ramsdale do but better than you, him? And you know, I don't know if Jess is still in, the, Jess is still in the chat. And she was giving me all these stats and that. But to be honest, bro, I actually don't care about either of them, bro. Like, people, people go on like, oh, when I defend Ramsdale, it's like, oh, because I care because I'm in... Like he's English, I want to make it very clear. I don't give a shit, bro. I'm not English, bro. Like people actually, like my granddad was Scottish. I actually want England to do bad. I don't, I don't care about this whole Saka wanting to win the world, bro. I don't care about none of this, bro. I want England to flop. I don't like England as a football nation, in it. I don't like that. Like, it's it's oh, different man. for me, in it. Like so, I actually don't care about England. I just think that he's actually a, a better keeper than Raya. But at the end of the day, it makes no difference to me. Who's in goal, right? You know, for me, I think Ramsdale is a better keeper. I think ob quite obviously he's a better keeper, but he's just not being made, he's not being able to give me, he's not been given opportunities this season. And that's it, just keep it moving in it, like for me. But I, I, I kind of, I'm just not one to, you know, make it a big problem right, right now because right now Arteta and Raya look correct and I, and I look incorrect. But if you're asking me if you, if both play, if both keepers get a run of games, I think that genuinely speaking, Ramsdale would look better than Raya for me. But what does Ramsdale do better? Being devil's advocate for people who don't, who obviously can't read what you're saying. Like, what does Ramsdale have over Raya? I think, I think you know what it is. I think in the big games, I I, I trust Ramsdale more for me in the big games, and I I feel like in certain big games you need a certain aura, you need a certain, you need a certain kind of character because we all know. And, being a keeper, it is very, it's such a nice position because you're by yourself. It's a harsh job, man. You can save a million oh, shots. Let one in. If no you make a mistake, again. it leads to a goal straight away. So I just think when I look at Ramsdale, I look at him, I'm like, bro, I've not seen a, I've not seen a, a performance, maybe because you've not needed it, but I've not seen a performance like what Ramsdale did last season against Liverpool away. Brother, we could have lost that game six what was it? Six yeah, two. No, that, that's true. We've improved defensively. I've not been less seen good a interaction. performance like that from Rams from, from, from Raya. Granted, we may not need it because we had a better structure in, in, in terms of defence. But when people mention, oh, the fact that we conceded all these shots and they mention all these stats, people don't put context that we had holding in defence. <laughs> the, the same holding that can't even get a game for fucking The Christian same holding Palace, that though. just said is better than Benjamin White. Don't shoot the message, Bro, I'm just saying. Crazy. I don't think people are actually deep what I'm saying. I don't care about either keeper. I just want to make that very clear, innit? But my point is, is that you don't give the same context to Ramsdale that you do, so to Raya that you do to Ramsdale. I think people give all of these like, yeah, look at the stats, but the stats don't show you who was playing in front of him. The stats don't show you that we didn't have a Declan Rice and Raya. And, and we have to remember that at some times last season, Partey was looking shaky. He was looking mm. shaky mm. last mm. season. People mm, forget true. that. People always move that move the goalposts, and that's why for me. People are going to mention, oh, what happened against, was it Bournemouth at home when we went 2-0 down or whatever it was? And Southampton, no, Southampton, we went 
two nil down and the Bournemouth game. We went, yeah. we, I think we went down two. We went two. No, we went two nil down we, we against. We had, we had, we had a stage. I think we had West Ham away. Obviously, we bottled it against Liverpool, and then Ramsdale had the mad thing against Southampton. Ramsdale's yeah, had a free throw mistake. So was Raya. To be fair, but, but, but Raya for me, Raya for for me, maybe because he's had less mistakes or his shown to have less mistakes it looks like the better keeper but i just think that when you look at raya he's a player that he just needs to have improved on his concentration because we've seen that that clip where he Ooh, says that's harsh you're saying that over right you're saying that to, about raya or ramsdale that's harsh hey, ramsdale ramsdale, sorry, ramsdale. Oh, oh, i think ramsdale needs raya, to, oh, i was about to say that's harsh Lee, man i think i think ramsdale needs to improve his concentration if he can improve his concentration i think we're talking about levels as a keeper bro because i think he's i mean I you you as a teacher like he's he strikes me and you as a teacher he strikes uh, ramsdale strikes me as someone that's just got adhd and that level of concentration yeah, as yeah, you said yeah, that yeah, that's, yeah, that's yeah. holding him back man when he's yeah. saying i need to get into it with the fans i like that that's what makes ramsdale ramsdale but, but there needs to be a balance I, I, i'll bro. share your thoughts in that i think they're levels but i think raya's doing his thing and i can understand in hindsight why raya's been brought in now but go on but you know it's, it's even funny because I, and people are going to Think take take it as like a disrespect, bro. Because but I'm actually saying it because I've as I've, I've implemented this in lessons in class, and it's a real thing. You know them fidget spinners, mm. but that's what right. That's what Ramsdale needs. About bro. Anthony. Oh, go on. No. <laughs> no, no, no. He actually needs a fidget spinner, bro. He actually needs something. To he needs a tick, man. He needs to just track. poke his arm or something. Yeah, man. yeah. Right, bro. I'm getting serious. That because, yeah, bro. Because he just look like as you said, he just loses it, but. People think, oh, like, you know, like, as I said, I'm batting for the guy and, and you know, I, I want him to, because it's like a English bias or homegrown bias. I can't, I don't care about either of them, bro. I don't, I actually don't care. There, it's, 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 it's one of the other, bro. It's not, that, you know what I'm saying? It's not that deep for me, but I just, I genuinely do think when you actually look at the two keepers, you have to look about all the stats. You, look, you need to put all the context involved because there's a guy that plays for Crystal Palace who are where? 14th in the league right now? He can't even get a game for Crystal Palace, to be he fair with you. I ain't seen play game, with. Bro. Brother, he can't even get a game, you know. This is the same guy that was depending on to win a title. The, a title. Oh, Arteta has bro. to hold that L, I can't lie. Come on. And, and, then we, and then we add on top of that, all right, cool, he made a few mistakes. But when you look at the, the whole grand scheme of things, Partey was playing poor. Man, got, he got subbed for Jorginho. For like three games in a row because he was playing poorly. So when he we conceded all these goals and all these shots, there's other contributing factors involved with it, bro. It's not just one player. You know what I'm saying? But listen, I, I don't know, man. I think it's just a uh, you know people always just want to do their agenda because he you know he he likes to shout and he likes to get involved with the crowd, bro. Like we've been screaming for that for years, bro. We, when we had Mustafi we went crying, crying on the floor, we was crying for passion. Now we got it. It's oh, it don't suit your agenda. So. Listen, man, I, I don't know. I think that's just how people look at it, innit? But it is what it is. For me, I think they're in the same bracket, really, in that, you know, I think Ramsdale on his day is a quality keeper. I'm yet to be 100% convinced with Raya, but I'm 90% there. It's a bit like what you said, you know, it's a catch-22 because I never want to see my keeper called into action, but I'm yet to really see him. Don't get twisted. Big him up for the Porto game. I still think there's been games collectively where we could have done a lot better. I think there's a reality where in a couple of seasons, Arteta, based on his, his frequency to sign keepers, might upgrade. But right now, I think Raya's decision-making, clarity in decisions, ability to focus and just genuinely bedding into the club he looks a lot better I think one thing that was really really unfair for me with Raya in comparison to Ramsdale is whichever one was playing you know it was agendas like people made their camp whether Mikel Arteta handled the signing in the best way I don't know because we've seen it with Leno and Ramsdale I think it wasn't fair to Raya but he's going from strength to strength and like you said there you know as much as I like individual players I want to see Arsenal win stuff so if Raya's doing his thing Ramsdale it is what it is the same with Tierney and potentially Smith Rowe I do feel Think the distribution and the collective from crosses and and I think one thing Arteta probably likes over Ramsdale is that I think Raya would no matter what Raya is just going to stick to what's asked. I think Ramsdale is mm. like Raya will do things ten out of ten times that Arteta demands. Ramsdale's like an eight out of ten. He might lose his head and try something else. And I want Ramsdale mm. to go play and be a good keeper. And I, it, it was gutting to see his mistake in potentially his last game against Brentford because unfortunately, as you know yourself, bro. You know what's going to be said. That's why you don't start. So he's just going to have to get on with it. I don't know who the second choice keeper would be. I hope we go down the Ortega route in that we've got someone that, you know, because you look at Edison City, there was times where City fans wanted him dropped and Ortega came in. Someone
someone that is mm. kind of accepting of being a number two, but good enough to keep Raya or whoever it is on their toes, really. I don't want to air this guy's question mm. before we move on. Big up classified. He said, I always ask every guest, but which striker do you think will get? Go Akeres, Tony or Osman? Where are you at with that being the guest, my friend? So, uh, what do I think we'll get or what do I, who do I want? I guess it's a double-edged question, man. Can answer it both ways. Uh, who do I think we'll get? I think that's what he said. I think, hold on. I think he said... I don't think we're getting Tony again. I think he said, who do I, what did he say though? Like, did, who, who, uh, who do I let think we'll get it. or who do I want? Let me, let me, let me, let me, who do you think we'll get? But well, you might as well All answer right. it both ways, man. All right, cool. Who do I think we'll get? Bro, I'll be honest with you, bro. I think we're going to get Oshiman. I think you we're going to get Oshiman. Yeah, bro. I think they're gonna go. I think they're gonna put a splash, bro. I think they're gonna go crazy with it because I think Arteta looks at him, knows that there's a there's a deficiency. I don't think you got to think he didn't want to play Havertz up front. That's not his. That's not what his ideal mindset was, bro. It was it was him playing in left eight. It was Partey right back or Partey in the midfield or wherever it was, and him battling with Declan Rice. That's just what I thought. That's what I saw. So I don't know. I just don't see Havertz being that that long-term alternative. I, I actually like Havertz and I think he's very good up front, but I just don't think that's what Arteta wants. I think Arteta wants somebody who can be an all-rounder. I think they look at Tony and I think, I just don't think they, they, they the personality... He's a Bedina, man. He chats too much, man. Yeah, bro. I think I think he's a bit spazzed out. I think he's got some, you know, he's got a complex exactly. with trying to be the main... He's trying to be the main man in and he's good, but you're talking a bit too much for someone who you are. Like you're not that guy. Like, and that's no disrespect to him because I don't want to come on here and say that he's crap because he's not. He's not. He's not rubbish. But um, I just don't think that he's got that. That I don't know. He's not got that. That thing. That that I don't know. I guess you could say source. Now, if you're asking me, who do I think Osherman is good enough? I actually don't. I don't think he's worth 100 million. 100 and I think 110 million. I don't think he's worth that. I don't why, why not for um, some in the chat? Because Osman seems to be the be all and end all for some. Bro, I just I look at him and I feel like he makes the runs. I feel I think just more. You know what it is? When I look at Osherman, I think he's got he's got it, but not on every single day. And I if I'm paying that money, I need I need your performances to match Declan Rice. I agree. because I can think of four games out of I don't even know how many games he played this season. Forty games. Out of, and he's played four bad games. Chelsea first half, he was quite poor, if I'm honest with you. West Ham away. No, so yeah, West Ham away, West Ham at home, he was poor. Fulham away. Those are four games I can and say. And they collective team bad performances as well, even though, yeah. And, he, there he you go. And I'll, say, and I'll say, in the Porto home game, I, obviously I was, I, I, I was there in it. And I thought the team were a bit shaky and I just felt that he was tired. He wasn't poor, he was tired. When I genuinely look at Oshiman, I don't see as many good performances that he's he needs for the for the price tag. And you know what comes with that? Oh, he's gone three, four games without scoring. Yeah. And the same kind of the same kind of vim we give Nunes. I don't want that for for, for Oshiman. I don't want to do that to him. So, um, I I don't know. But you see, this this the guy from Sporting. Again, I like him the more I, I see, but I don't have an informed opinion, man. I, I don't. Good, I don't have. Yeah, he does look good, but I don't. Uh, as you said, I don't have a great informed decision about him. I need to see more before I kind of jump on the train and say, yeah, like he's he, he's got that kind of that thing that we need. All I want from a striker, which is obviously quite difficult to do, is in the big games be effective. I don't need you to score, but be effective, and that's just nuisance. where I feel like we be a nuisance, bro. Be a nuisance and. You do need to have that kind of job moment where you're scoring in the big games if you're costing that amount of money. But I just don't look at Osherman, I don't look at Tony, I don't look at you know anyone right now and think, yeah, like they're they're making the difference. So listen, man, I'm not sitting here saying that you know Osherman's the be all and end all, but I think out of the bunch that I've seen, and I need to do more research myself from what I've seen, I'll say for sure Osherman's the player that I would go for. Doesn't mean I'm correct because I, I I'm really putting a, a caveat out there. I, I I would rather kind of have a bit more resources of looking at all the strikers before you know kind of coming to a final conclusion. But yeah, it is what it is, bro. If you're asking it's, me though, out of all of them, I'd rather get Isak. If 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 you're genuinely asking 
We're gonna get on to is that we're gonna get on to is that man. We got we got a lot to consider, and I think you're right, man. I think you know I would love Osman to be honest. I think half the strikers we're linked with, whether that's Blahovic, Tony, Osman, you know, the younger ones and rural ones like Sesco, I'm all for that. I think you said it there, mm. and I think that's what it comes down to. In that, obviously, we're gonna get the Champions League. We've got Champions League money. I know a lot of people haven't really been the kindest to KSC, myself included, but money's been injected, and I won't say there's very few areas to improve our team, but. There is, it's more like you said earlier, it's more about just one, two quality players. I think the, the techie one is, I don't think I'm 100% convinced on anyone. And I think it, I, it's one where I would love to speak with Mikel Arteta. Like, what does he want from a striker? Evidently, goals. The man has said we need to be a team that gets 100. We've got like 70, 80. But it's all the other general player. Now, obviously, this is going to sound mad, but. You could argue being a striker for a Mikel Arteta system for what we've seen to this point, give or take with a Bamian, but if you throw in Havertz, Trossard, Lacazette, couple man can score more than others. You could almost argue goals are the least important. It's the general play, it's the dropping deep, it's the selfless kind of aspect. So it'd be interesting to see where these players kind of rate at them other things beyond goals mm. and also mm. how they tie in. The more I get on, I don't know if we're going to sign an Osman that's like, quote unquote, a curtain raiser. I don't know if we're going to sign a multifunctional kind of guy like the Trossard Ilk can play across the front three. I don't know if we're going to sign a young, impressionable one like Sesco that can start and come in when required. It's a bit of a techie one. And that actually brings me on to stuff as well, because many people will say we don't need a striker. Now, you've kind of said we need a striker, but where are you at on that? Because we are scoring goals being devil's advocate. Yeah, yeah. Listen. I was just about to kind of jump in, but I thought, let me just let you finish off. And Say for me, thing, I, I don't know whether or not, Arte, as you going off your point about Arteta, I don't know if Arteta wants the goals to come from the wide forward players or if he wants to cut guy. So I don't know if he wants to replicate the Liverpool Is situation it? with Firmino being the facilitator or if he wants to kind of have, sorry, if, if he wants to kind of go with the new Man City kind of trend with you know a big man and he gets his own goals and everybody else just kind of feeds him and the gypsy and everywhere else. there you go I just don't know and obviously it's even harder because from where we was last season and where we played to how we play this season it's totally different so he could change it again next season so you never know that's what he's planning, yeah. that's that's why it's hard so I I would genuinely like a guy to get his own goals now I I, I want someone who's selfish I don't want somebody who's you know I, I miss the days of you know what? I say it's a, it's a blasphemous name, but I miss the days of even Adibayo, bro. Bro, Adibayo, those it two seasons. Off when, his own bro, back, yeah. Bro, he was going crazy. People won't forget, bro. Forget, bro. He was going crazy. That Van Persie season, when he got, what was it, 24, 25 goals in the Prem? Bro, he was mm. going crazy with it. So, I'm so sure. The first year at the Emirates, Adibayo was moving mad as well, if I can remember correctly. 100% he was. like so. And then, obviously, it was the big man, little man with him and Eduardo. So, listen, I, I just think for me, I want somebody who can now get goals in it. I want somebody who can do it, do a bit of everything. And and with that, you kind of get your 25, 20 goals, 21 goals. Bro, look at Jesus, bro. Like, I know he's been injured, but he's so frustrating because he's got so much about him. But, bro, he don't make when, sense, it's front, bro. when it's in front of the goal, he makes the bloody hard things look easy and he Fact, makes the easy I'm things goodness. look hard. And it's so annoying. Bro. It makes bro, no it sense because if he could bag, we're not talking bro. about a striker. It, it was a it was a Europa League. Well, no, I'll, I'll come back to that in a second because I'm still talking about a striker. But, but yeah, but it was a Europa League game last season, and he just he was moving crazy, doing all kinds of tricks, juggle beneath everything. But bro, he could put the ball man. in the back of the net, and I'm like, bro, what is wrong with this guy? Like he's just doing all the hard things and the easy things. He's just yeah, it's it's his hard work. Well, that's but, what they say. The hardest things to do is put the ball in the back of the net, cause. But he, but the thing is, it's almost like golden chances that he misses as well. Like, so that's why it's annoying. It's but the simple ones, like listen, you said, yeah, and then he'll score some dinking finish, and you're like, right, he doesn't make going, no sense. Going, bro. Going, going off your point, I would definitely still get a striker anyway, even if he was scoring goals because he's always injured. He's and he's definitely got a knee problem, and that right. knee problem is you don't play about with knees. Fluid so, in the knee, that's crazy. Yeah, there, there you go. So I think for me, I, I, I definitely feel like Arteta is gonna. I think Arteta is going to make a splash up front for sure because most of his money out of the seven, I think he spent what six hundred and fifty million or whatever it was. Most of his money's gone on defenders and midfielders. None of it's gone up front. I think who's he's been on, quite Jesus. conservative with attackers, really and truly. Oh, it's all been fifty. It's been fifty million pounds on on Jesus, and that's it. Everybody else has been defenders, yeah. whether Trust it's been on a free, not really 
big household names. Obviously, big up Jossa nah, and yeah. currently Kai mm. Havertz. But yeah, yeah he yeah. hasn't really brought in those marquees. And, and, remember, and you're right, because when you deep it, bro, like, he's, he's for me, Arteta's a bit, not stingy, but it's like, he's patient. And like, where, obviously, Mudrik is not working mm. out. But where Mudrik was available, they tried to spend a bag on him. Pedro Neto, they tried. Mm. Rafina, they bagged. They tried to bag him. So it's like, he's looking for something explosive, whether that be up front, whether it be out wide, man. So yeah, I agree. That's yeah, a great yeah, point, yeah. really. A one yeah. that flew over my yeah. head. And, and you got you got to deep it as well, bro. We, we was gonna spend a hundred million pounds on fucking Caicedo, so that would have even gone even more expensive. So and remember, he yeah. wanted Caicedo and Declan. You remember in January? He wanted, but the news. Do you know what? In hindsight, I don't went, think it would have worked. But if Arteta's back in it, I would have went with you, and I definitely would have wanted it then, and I still would love those two uh, options. Yeah, now. I, I, I think it would. I think it would have banged. I think it would have banged. But uh, listen, if you're asking me, I'm putting all my Stocks in Isak, bro. I think Isak, bro. He's did that. that don't his that, injuries that. concern you, though? Nah, bro. Nah, 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 nah. 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 Have, uh, nah. Can you pull up police injury? I don't even think his injuries that bad, bro. I can't I lie. Is that injury? That bad, bro. We're gonna have to take this to VAR. Still, his injuries are a bit oh, crazy. Crazy. Is it crazy? Am I? Am I, am I working? Yeah, am I working man. Right? It's a bit, to be fair, it's it's. I'm being a bit. I'm overselling it a bit, but then again, Osman's injuries are bad as well, really and truly. If I'm honest, and it's just Arsenal tax, but sorry, broski, let me oh, remove your comment. Crazy, come yo, back to it. Kind of, yeah, yeah, that's kind of obviously we're allowed well, for the Dortmund things, things but yeah. to be yeah, fair, maybe you know exaggerating a bit. To be honest, he's missed only what 16 Five. games there, 10 there, like 26 games. Oh no, 20 about 20 odd games in the last two years. That's a bit mad, bro. But you, you know what it is, though, yeah? All right, cool. If you just look at it, all right, cool. So it's a groin injury. There's two of them. So let's just say that he didn't recover, he didn't recover properly from that. So I know it's a cheat, but I'm going to put them two together, yeah? I'm going to put... Hold on, actually. Yeah. yeah. You know what? I'm yeah, that's 10 games. No, I think that's a fair comment, game. comment, to be honest. It's around I'm the same gonna... period as well, October to February. Exactly. Right, cool. So let's just, let's, just, let's just say that he didn't really come back properly from that, yeah? I'm not, I'm not, I'm not like, giving... You know, I'm not trying to give him a blur, yeah? but... All right, calling in a fire problem. What was that for Sweden? Oh, okay. Okay, okay. I think he missed, okay, games guy saying he missed 16 well. games between the both of them. Yeah. To okay, be cool. fair, so though, maybe, missed... being a, maybe being a bit harsh, but in the last three years, it seems like he frequently picks them up, bro. Yeah, no, nah, to be fair, I'm not going to lie to you, bro. I didn't even know it was that bad, you know. I, 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 honestly, I didn't, I didn't even cost him got that, bro. Yeah, I didn't even deep it like that, bro. I didn't, know, I didn't know he was that bad, bro. I'll be honest with you. I thought, I, bro, that's, what, that's what, that's 16, that's 20, bro, that's crazy, bro, 26 games, that's kind of mad. This is it, and then when you run up Osimhen's now, like, his thing's a bit mad as well, to be honest. Obviously, Yo, what, to be fair, the I don't count the facial one, in it, pause, um, because that's a madness, but even his... So is there really a solution, really? Obviously, if Arsenal are convinced and we can get over them, because I know Partey's been a regular injury done, but like last season, him and Tini were basically fit. So it shows that but there you, is something. You know what, just, when I look at when I look at um this one, when I look at Oshermans, yeah, minus the co obviously Corona thing, because you can't add that in there, and the, yeah, and the yeah. cheekbone, which and the cheekbone, uh, and muscle fatigue. Let's just remove that. I don't know why that's even in there, but. Bro, he's yeah, got bare different with that one. injuries, bro. He's got bare different things. Shoulder, head, like... He might bro, cash out in London as well. Bro, yeah, that's kind of crazy, still. And, and you're talking a hundred odd million quid, probably going to be on 200, 300 grand a week, near enough where Kai Havertz is or the top earners at the club. Boy. But that's why I think we might just say, you know what? Sesco thing because it's 40 50 million euros. We might be able to reinvest elsewhere. That's why I don't know what we're planning to do. I think there's a lot of moving parts. No, I think I a lot of watched the video about that as well. That's not... I watched a video about the Sesco thing, bro. I'll be real with you. It's hard because I don't know. He ain't even been banging for Leipzig this season, though. He no, bro, he's so like... raw, but trust me, he's gonna be lit. He's gonna be lit. He's raw, he's raw, like emphasis on raw. He's going to need a lot of homework, but he could be a cheap alternative plan B settings. He needs a lot of work, and I can't stress that to the people listening enough. But I'm but convinced on his quality. Though, though. Let, me, let, me, let me ask you though, yeah. Let me ask you though. If we're in a point of the project where we're getting guaranteed gone, man. That's not what we. That's not what. Oh yeah, fuck them kids, man. Yeah, bro. If you can, if your riders are not guarantees, yeah, get it done. You show me what 105 million for Declan Rice can do. Yeah, fuck them kids, man. What do you mean? 100. percent 
if you're if if there is I don't know, let's just say Dave Smith, who will we'll talk in the same realms as being like Osserman and these things. If you can bring me that, Lee, go get that because I want 20 league goals. You know, we had Alexis Sanchez playing up front, you know, we had a Bamian. I just think there's a different kind of confidence within the fan base when you've got a bagsman that's gonna score. And if we can marry that with what all the other players are doing, great, because I always say. A guy that can get us 20 odd goals for me that can turn a couple draw a couple defeats, sorry, into draws, couple draws yeah, into victory, yeah, yeah. Or ultimately more points on the board. Sometimes that can get you out of trouble. Because I know many people will sit there and say, Oh, we don't need a striker. I believe we do, but I think maybe even me, I'm over exaggerating the need for a striker. But I'll just point towards the end of the year. Yeah, when the sun's shining, goals are scoring, everyone could do it. But you look at the end of last year when we just yeah, needed yeah. someone that knows how to bag. We're missing a trick. And Saka is the only, for me, in this team, confirmed bagsman because you've done it for three years, including this. Everyone else has had their seasons or had their little purple patches, but they, for all their quality, they don't really fill me with that. Saka's the only one I see in August that's like, yeah, you're going to get me double figures. Everybody else, so, I'm happy. Hold on, for what, so, who, so who are you going for? You want Cisco? You're saying Cisco? I'm on everything. I don't think there's one that I'm like, raw, like I really want. If we get Sesco, cool. We've got a little project plan B. I'm a big fan of Osman, but I don't necessarily think you're the answer. I wouldn't be against Tony, even though I'd like our ambitions. You know, I know his name isn't always said, but just on the basis of our tech going for Vlahovic, I'm not against that. If you were to, you know, force me to answer, I I prefer Osman. But I must admit, I'm starting to nah, change. Bro, these bro. injuries, I'm start- bro. Like I'm actually, I'm actually just watching. Yeah, like, no, the injuries are mad. The injuries are mad. Bro, these injuries, yeah. All right, cool. Oh, so let's take because... let's take away the mu- muscle fatigue. That's one. All right, cool. Hold on. Muscle fatigue. That's one. Corona two. He got corona again three. And let's say the cheap. Yeah, nah, bro. Nah, 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 bro. Nah, that's too much, bro. He's literally got one, two. Bro, how can you miss Bare a game things, from bro. fitness, bro? Like, nah, bro. Like, you see that? Yeah, you see all of that. And you got like, all I'm saying is. We don't get any. We don't get any winter break in in, in December like that. So he's gonna have to, bro. We need when you're paying a hundred million pounds. You we yeah, certainly so we much confirmation required, man. And how old is he? What 26, 25? I don't even know how. 20, how old is he? 20, 25. 26 later this year. Yeah, December, bro. Time. Like, yeah, nah. Like, I'm not gonna lie to you, bro. Like, man, I ain't really feeling them injuries, bro. Like, when I'm looking at them injuries, that's nah, that's spooky, bro. It's, I don't it's like scary, but all of them are scary. For me, I just say, Sesco, you know what? If it depends for me, it depends on the budget because I think there's a lot of moving parts in the summer. I'm no accountant, but just from trying to, you know, as a fan, obviously, we've, we've got about, I think at this point, 78 million from the Champions League. We're going to get Premier League money. KSC are going to inject things. You know, I don't know if everybody that we project to leave this club, if they're going to leave. I don't know if people we think are going to come in for certain prices come in. And that's where I think the moving parts are. That's why I think generally, as Sesco's a plan B in a day and age where we're talking about 100 million for him and them kind of fees, he's got a release clause of 50 odd. I don't think Tony's going for 100, I think that's a 50 60. And I think all the clubs that are interested in Tony know that you know it's like it's it's like you know, it's like she he's the three out of ten babes that you know you can get sore with, like they will be there at the end of the night, really. You want to go and find other things, so that's where I think Tony is at. And then I, it brings me back to this question like, is there a reality where we say, you know what, forget a striker? Do we go for a top, top winger, whoever that is, that could bring in goals? Like, obviously, we ain't got a Mo Salah, but Mo Salah carries striker numbers. If that was on the market, would you be mm. averse to that? Boy, nah, man, I want a striker, bro. Like, I want a striker, man. I, I just I, I just think when you look at when you look at what it is, uh, for me, I just feel like when you've got a striker that can bag his own goal. Like, as you said, in now... In, in those crunch moments, yeah, those crunch, crunch moments in, because as you said, it, we all know, August time when the sun's out, bro, nobody's beating us at home, bro. But when it gets to them dark nights, the bro, when it's four o'clock, and it's, bro, when it's this crunch time now, when we're going to Real Madrid, you need a man to just step up. And I, I know Vinicius is going crazy with it. And I know Rodrigo's going crazy with it. And I know Mbappe's going crazy with it. But I want someone up front, bro. I want someone who's just... You're, you're, I know you're getting me 25 goals in the Prem, and it's just, yeah, levels, it and, and, they're important, and, it, and it's their important goals, you know what I'm saying? So, and and and, and look, even someone said Mbappe is the only one, like, who else even is there, bro? Like, what, you what, know, how we're many not goals getting Mbappe, so that's redundant. How, how many goals has he got? What, what's he saying? Say? This, you're killing nah, the, um, the, 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 nah, the guy from um, the sporting, the guy from sporting, I can't even say his name. Oh, go your carers. 
I mean, yeah, Seth goes eight screaming much, seven goals, two assists in 23. It's not bad. It's not, but even times, I can't lie, he's been second fiddle to that Openda guy earlier in the season. Yeah, but, then but again, listen, even... No, 29 no, and 79 Turkey, is looking lit. Bro. I believe Turkey, you, Dudley. I'm not going to lie. To you, went up. Nah, bro, you see me? I'm on no project player right now. I don't want no project. I don't want no project player, man. Like, I'm just, but even like, the sport, like, like 22 really... goals. But if you see the thing with him, yeah? And I did a video. It's coming out at yo, 6 yo. p.m. Shameless. Yo, that's crazy. Plug. Like, sh sh shameless plug, yeah? The more I do my research on how he was playing at Coventry and his ability to win fouls and pull out into wide areas and now what he's doing in Portugal, I'm becoming convinced. As I said earlier, and, and you said the same, I ain't got no informed opinion. I couldn't tell you all his weaknesses. So... It's just my opinion, but I like him a lot. The only thing I would say with him, and it's a natural conversation that I guess it's it's essentially a gamble. This is your first year at this kind of level. When I do my research, I see what you're doing at Coventry. I see what you're doing now, and I like him. But this is the first time you've done your thing at a top. Well, it's not even a top five league, respectfully, to Portugal. But you're doing your thing. And when you look at it, the whole of Sport in Lisbon, they're all outperforming their expected goals, including himself. So is it okay. going to continue? Well, I how, definitely is, like how, old is how, how old is he? How old is he? 25 as well. Well, 26 in the summer. So these like, men are all like hitting the, the right kind of ages. I like the age. I like the age. I like the age still. I'm not bro. against it still. <laughs> bro, what, he's got holding nine assists as well. And <laughs> yo, this is crazy, I, mean, he, he's, I, I can't lie. When you do your research, he's decent, man. He wins fouls. He makes it was he, he wins tactical fouls, brings in his teammates, drops deep. Obviously, he scores a dip. His goals are not necessarily glamorous, but they're strikers, finishes. He's good in the air as well. I'm just not on this 100 million release clause. It's not my money. I wish I had that. And if Arsenal want to do that, great. Wait, he's, he's, 100 million. he's 100 million. They're saying 100. You got to remember, he just went over them sides for like 20 million from commentary last year. So no. No, Are they going to let him go no cheaply? Is he going to angle for a move out? And also, he's played in one, two countries. He's played in Germany. He's played in England. Obviously, Portugal. He's played in his homeland. I like him. I wasn't I wasn't for it, but I like him. The more I do my research. I would love Mbappe, but I'm dream chasing. No, but they're no all going to come with a, with, with a serious price tag because strikers seem to be the shortage in today's day and age, man. No, that's, that's, someone that's saying, what I'm saying. Compared Listen, to all the options mentioned, he's the best... In per ninety stats, I don't know who that's about, but it, it, I assume going care is. Shout out to um, I don't hold on. Let me find this comment, bro, because I don't want to take his shine. Who was it? Oh, coach. Yeah, that was it. This one. Uh, bro, big up my guy Gerald, Turkish, man. Bro. Yeah, shout out to Turkish, bro. He put me on Appender, bro. Appender's. I, I know he misses chances, but Appender's he's saucy, you know. As a he did his thing bro, at Lons last year. Nah, he's sourcing, bro. Appendix sourcing, bro. Like, I'm not gonna lie. Shout out to that guy, Coach uh, Gerald. Like, I, I, oh, I actually, my God. he's he's someone. I'm not feeling the. I'm not feeling Vi Vivich. I don't want him no matter what, bro. Even if he's for free, bro. I don't like when man do that whole. Don't come town. Come to my club afterwards, and you try. But nah, nah, I don't want that. Yeah, but we were trying to holler him, and he weren't trying to hear it in the first place. Like, nah, bro. He nah, was nah, cuffed nah. up. We weren't nah, listening. Nah, he, allegedly, he, he was violated, bro. He, he, him, and his agent violated. He violated one hundred percent. Nah, man, don't want him, bro. I, for me, I'm 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 looking at Oshiman, bro. I know this. I know I don't. Them injuries are crazy, though. Bro. They're crazy, bro. They're brave. They're actually actually scary. And what's it? All right, while we're on the topic of transfers, yeah, because we might as well get into this. Kimmich, apparently there's only five clubs that he's on joining and we're one of them. Apparently he's not interested in Chelsea, Man United and PSG, which I definitely don't believe. But apparently Liverpool, City, Arsenal, Barcelona and Real Madrid would you would you be for that or myth? Again, I feel like going back to it is hard because what do we what do we do with party? I think party is just the the, the biggest the problem. Do we if we, we if we party, give him a new yeah. contract? Yeah, bro. Because if we get rid of him, then I think that's the that's the big needle mover in it. Like we have to go for a six. Do I want him? Do, would I want him there? He's got. Listen, he can play a few positions. He can play right back, left back. Experience twenty nine as well. Bro. Yeah. Yeah, ah, yeah. You know what? I do like I do like Kimmich, but I feel like for the money he's gonna cost, and I don't know. Like, I, I don't know. I, I, I wouldn't go for him. No, I wouldn't go for him. I, I do like him, but I wouldn't go for him. I wouldn't go for him. I'd you Would know you what? Go for that Zerchi Zerchi as well. Yeah, no, I do like Zerchi, but again, the numbers I need. I think they look rubby. Bro, still, they look rubby. Yeah, bro. I, I, what's your, how many goals you got this season? Who's Zertsky? Or oh, Zertsky. Yeah. Oh, forgive me for mispronunciation. Bro, bro, you know what? I'm warming towards a pender, you know. Some bros, are you just putting a thing, bro. A pender's, I'm on, I'm, I'm, I'm feeling what a pender's been doing in the Bundesliga. 
TK, you know, he's been, he's been, he's been, he's been uh, uh, 10 goals, four assists, 27 games. I must admit, when I actually watch Italian league, I'm impressed by his looks, general play. Yeah, he's Joshua you, but he looks, he looks good. Yeah, and I, I can't like Italian league like speaking. Like huh? I do like Zerki, you know. I do like him, bro. I can't lie, Tally Lee's spooky. Some spooky defenders go over there like Tomori and look good. Some spooky attackers go over there like Lookman and look good. Nah, I'm not believing anyone. It's crazy, like Tomori, bro. Someone tell me I'm lying. If I'm lying, I'm frying. Bear Buki, man, no, go no, Italy no, and start no. begging. Wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. It's scary. I don't, I, don't, I don't even want to spend long on this because I don't care about him like that. But you can't tell me that you rate goals. this star, but you don't like, you don't rate. Say that again, say that again. can't say that. You can't tell you don't you can't tell me that you don't rate Tomori, but you rate yourself, bro. You can't be doing this to me. What? What? That's dead. <laughs> where, where, where's the where's the correlation? What's Tomori done? Oh, when the Tomori lights are bright on Tomori in the Champions League and that he's uh, not on nothing. Not, I've oh, seen bro. Smith Rowe carry this team, bro. It's nah, nothing, yeah. it's nothing nah. whether I rate Smith Rowe or not. If he leaves, he leaves. But I know he wears Arsenal's number 10. He was one of our best players when the sun wasn't shining. He's been capped by the country and he plays for Arsenal Football Club. Those are facts, it's nothing to do with I rate him. Tomori has gone Italy. Oh, you, you, we might you look are. good at the Italian league. It's Bandilio. I can't lie. Anytime Tomori, nah, anytime cool. man watch Tomori properly, and he's a good centre back, he's spooky. He's proper spooky. I'm just saying, Italian league strikers no. and defenders, no, they're going listen, over them listen, sides. Listen here, and they're looking all right. Let me let me look into the camera. You see DG Army? This guy's a nasty guy, you know. I'm actually deep. This DG Army, this guy is a nasty, nasty guy. <laughs> Tomori, bro, listen, I think Tomori should be in the England squad and that, but I think there's too much clamour. Tomori, bro, Tomori, he was an Arsenal fan, but come on, man. Tomo I, I, I tell you this for free. Tomori joins a Premier League club, he's going to look spooky. He'll be a good player, but people will not stop capping. Will stop capping. Are we forgetting the, the performance at Stamford Bridge recently? Come on, man. Like, Tomori's not the hill to die on, bro. He's not. Neither is Smith Rowe, to be fair, but it is what it is, yeah, man. Is, so what else I was, we got? I was literally... I was literally about to say, but you know what? That's not that's not the main that's not the main team for me. But going back to it though, for, for I think obviously um, Kimmich, I think I, I'd rather I'd rather just have Zinchenko. He's, a, he's 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 you know he's a good utility player. He can play in the left back, right back. He can well, maybe not so right back, but he can play left back. He can play centre mid. He can play, you know, he can do he can do a job. Obviously, Kimmich is up to a way higher level, but I don't feel like he comes in and he guarantees himself a spot. He doesn't guarantee himself, guarantee himself a spot in the right back position. Well, Kimmich he doesn't guarantee. Yeah, bro, I'll be honest. No, you reckon? Bro. You reckon? You reckon? Nah, bro, if nah. I right, let's just say he signed right now in some make believe world, he's joined Arsenal right now. You reckon he don't walk into that midfield with the greatest no, of respect no, 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 to Jorginho? No, no, no. Okay, in the right back position, he doesn't for me. Oh. Left back, no. Oh, now, Ben, mm, I don't think. Yeah, you don't nah, walk bro, into nah, it. You're gonna have to fight, nah, Benjamin. Bro, You're no. gonna have to fight him for it. I'm not saying. He, I'm saying he doesn't walk in and like, yo, this is. Yeah, yeah, no, he doesn't walk in. He doesn't walk in. He walks in and it's my thing in it. Like it's not the same. Like, you know what I'm saying? So I think in the six he does. Hey, that's right. I, I think we there are there are other players that I will look at and I'll be like, bro, if if we get fit and firing party, bro, like, bro, I'm keeping him. I'm keeping him. I must admit, I'm with you with that normally, but I'm, I'm done with the party fitness thing now, man. Like it's long now, man. Like it's it's long, bro. Like he's lit. But your flight hazard, and you know, I think the best, you know, as you know, like on form, Partey is probably our best centre mid with the greatest of respect to Declan Rice because you've been a revelation. I rated you, certain man wanted Kai say though, but on form, Partey is lit, bro. But when are you there? Like when I, you even Tommy Asu, I'm a big fan of Tommy Asu, but I think we're moving into that degree now where I think you can only be of a certain importance in this Arsenal team if you're able to stay fit. Arteta said we've got one of the finished squads. We've been dealing with injuries since August. And when you look at the main nucleus of our squad, bro, who and injuries happen to everyone, but when you look at the core of our squad, who could you bet on is not going to get, you know, we've given them a tax of being injured. Who's going to be available for the majority of the season? Saka, Benjamin White, Declan Rice, Odegaard, Martinelli, Saliba, obviously the keepers, Trossard, Havertz. But then you've got Partey, then you've got Tommy Asu, Zinchenko, Jorginho, I like him, but you do pick up knots. The vast majority of these guys, you know, even guys like Nelson who are on the side, man, think, when you're missing one week, two weeks, three weeks, four weeks, it all adds up. But you don't know I love Smith Rowe. Smith Rowe's thrown into there as well. Fabio Vieira's thrown into there. So how are we going to get to that next? And I'm not saying cast them off, but we need men that are going to be fit. The best ability you can have is availability, in my opinion. But I don't know, man. Mm. It's a techie, yeah. and Amika uh, Berra. And, and even, him, I think you know what you're 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 right. You, you are right, and I think obviously for me, look, we're we're here chopping it up, but I do find that the midfield 
it's hard to give an answer because I look at it and I'm like, I oh, just don't know. I, it's, I don't know where, I don't know where Declan Rice is going to be, be, you know, at the end of this next season. I don't know where he's going to be pos positioned. If he's going to be a six, obviously you, you don't need an eight. If he's going to be an eight, then you need a six, no matter what. But I think if we're just, if we're just making decisions right now, I'm getting rid of Partey. On an injury basis only, I'm getting a six. Yeah, it's not an ability look. thing with party. It's not. Yeah, it's yeah. the other, it's saying, the other baggage I'm now, saying, man. It's long now. Yeah, 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 yeah. And I and, and I'm and, and I'm doing. I'm getting a. I'm getting a six. You know, like a, in in the mold of you know Jorginho, who can play those passes forward, play Perfect those example. passes forward like the older guard, so he doesn't have to drop so deep. You've got that pressing monster, monster in them older guard and Declan Rice that can you know win the ball up higher up in the pitch. And then you know you got the you got the five players up front that can do their do their dirt. And obviously you've got I need a I need a guy up front who can who I can rely on to get me at least twenty goals in the Premier. You, you need don't it, think bro. I have Arteta to be converted into that being devil's advocate? He's been compared to some fans to Van Persie. Could Arteta work a trick? I'm not Listen, saying me. I'm just bro. asking the questions. There is no doubt in my mind that I, 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 nobody in here is going to gaslight me. I've been on. I've been saying that I like Havertz for ages. So no one's even going to get onto me. Bro, and say anything. I'll be liking him, but he's not going to get you twenty goals in the Prem, bro. It's just not going to happen. Like no I don't matter think what, be clinical. Like, no, nah, he's not clinical. And and what he's doing, I like it. He, it's nice, but he ain't that guy. To he ain't that guy to hope hinge your hopes on because even when against Puto, the team, yeah, okay, fine. But I I, I didn't feel that he was going to drag a man through. Odegaard dragged us through that game, but I don't feel like oh, he was going to be the person. Exactly that. I don't feel he was going to be the person to drag us forward. So I think it's quite silly to to kind of expect Havertz because he's never been a he's never been a prolific you know forward player. He's never been like that. So why would we expect that now, bro? It's it's farcical. It's fantasy world to be thinking that. But I don't know, man. I think I agree. He's got what nine goals for us this season. I think it's yeah, like he's that. found the real little purple patch. To be fair to him. He's been good, man. He's been good, but I just don't feel like we. If we're if we're getting people rid of people like Eddie, then like that, I don't. I, I need somebody who comes in, and I need you to be slapping in shots from twenty yards. I need you to be, you know, doing holding up the ball. I need you to be playing other players for facility. I need you to be doing everything because we're paying a lot of money for that position in it. That's all I'm saying. So, uh, I, I, I would, I would, I would say for me. I'm going. The more you, the more I think about it, I'm going for a six. I'm going for a centre back, and then I'm going for a striker. I don't want no wide forward, man. I think the wide so forward team. Yeah, no, 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 no. I, I, I want a striker, man. I want a striker. We've also but, been linked with Marlon. Uh, we'll, as well. we'll, yeah, the old, I remember. I saw that this morning. What I will say though, what I will say is, if we did get a wide forward. It's got to be. It's got to be someone who can play left and right. Like I think we need two. Yeah, yeah. I'm going for two. I'm going for. Two. I'm, I'm going for. What? We're stupid. We should have gone DRB last season and get someone else this season. Ah, like I can't that. lie. Yeah, DRB's looking a bit shit still. They yeah, would have been lit in the squad. Finish. I would have rather Kudus personally. Like, the Kudus thing. Okay, we should have done that. Right, cool. My my, that my should have been where, at the Emirates. Hundred percent. But my point with but DRB, he can play left. He can play right. That's the first thing I like about him. And oh, I, I do that. think with Diaby, I do think with Diaby, he's a lot easier to manage as a squad player than someone like Kudus, who deserves to play a lot of games. And we know we've got Arteta, who don't like, he's got favourites, bro. So I think with Diaby, he's a good player to come in, £40 million or whatever, and he's a, he's a nice squad player. He's a nice, like, like, he comes on, and he, or he plays 20 he games. fairly lively as well. Yeah, 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 you know what I'm saying? And he plays 15 games, looks nice. We know that Saka is going to play week in and week out, bro. They, like it's it's pointless dreaming about somebody that we know that, bro. Like you know what I'm saying? Unless you sign a right I'm... winger, like big up Saka, but unless someone's got triple the ability of his, then Saka's right wing that's you rightly so because you earned it. You're right. You're right, bro. So he's a techie he, like, man. Man's the star boy. Like I mean, has to deep it as well. He's a star boy for England. He's a star boy for Arsenal. He's the he's on all the campaigns. Yeah, Nando and for that these days. Bro, man, like, like, it's, 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 it's actually like just different when you think about Saka. Like, no matter what, bro, the guy's gonna play in it. Like, it's, it's, it's. it's you think mad. of Arsenal, so, you think of him. Just, there you go. So when for me, I just think someone like Diaby would have been a nice player to manage, and he's not. Like, I know he's not been great. I'll, I'll give you that. He hasn't. But he's not dead. I do think he's better than Nelson in that, respectfully. 
hundred percent. And that, that, there's my point. He's he's a nice squad player, a very nice squad player to have. So that that's where I kind of put him in that bracket of yeah, he's he, I, I'd rather him than Fabio Vieira, and I like Fabio Vieira, but I, I'd rather him than yeah, Fabio Vieira on the right wing for sure. Yeah, he's not. So I think I know you kind of suggested the whole getting wide forwards. I'm not feeling it, bro. I'm not feeling it. I, I, I would love both, but I just feel we're going to get one attacker. I just feel it's either a normal striker, a normal winger, or somebody that can do a bit of both. I don't think we're going to get a winger and a striker. Obviously, a lot can change. You know, I don't know how much, you know, the homegrown stuff plays a part. But if we're trying to raise funds, then the homegrown players are the ones, you know, Ramsdale could bring us a decent fee. If they're saying 30 million for Nelson, which some of the rumours to Brighton are saying... I, we got to get that done. Smith Rowe, regardless of being on the peripheral things, still linked with the with the West Ham's, the Villas and the Newcastle's big clubs with, with decent money. Make it happen, in it, really and truly? I just think, I, I'm with you. I would love a winger that generally, especially when you look back, bro, at the end of last year when our form was a bit shaky and, you know, regardless, Martinelli, Saka and them man were playing. Maybe if Arteta had got that Pedro Neto at a point or Mudrick when he wanted or whoever, or Neto, whatever have you, a winger that he truly trusts and thinks levels, Maybe Saka or Martinelli could have came out earlier and we kind of saw what, what he did with Trossard and Martinelli. I think when the same team was playing, I think that's when you saw really who he's rating. Now, obviously, the squad players that have come in with injuries have done well. I don't know if Kai Havertz is necessarily in our strongest eleven, even though I think he's a reliable squad player and I like him. I think I like what Kiryu is doing. He looks a lot more confident. Personally, I think the sample size is way too small. Yes, you can only play what's in front of you, but I think there's way too much rhetoric around Kiryu and the same people that are doing the most. If and when he gets ripped, they're going to do the most as well. But you know how football is. I mean, Zinchenko's been linked with Bayern Munich to answer this. I mean, 45 million quid, I'm on it really. But then you've got Timber coming back from an injury. Tommy Asu can't stay fit. And let, I, my first choice where to go back to what Lee was saying about a centre-half, I would love that. For me in the summer, I don't know who, but if you could find me a Timber, Tommy Asu kind of guy that can play across the back four, then I'm for that. I think we could, we could get it done really. Would you make a Timber apparently being close to returning? Do you think it's a big lift, bro? I, I I like this guy, man. I think he's quality, he just offers. He just offers, he probably just literally that he just offers quality, bro. Like he's, you know, I think we we've been, you know, as a squad, as a team, we've been looking for control, control, control. I genuinely think with him in this squad, bro, it's just different levels. Like the XG against us is going to be even lower than what we've got, and it's like the lowest long man so far team, already. Brother, so. Brother. There you go. So for me, I think if we can get him back into the squad, so it's quite nice you've got them fixtures up there. If we can get him back into the squad for the game against like a Brighton away, because obviously, look, he's been tra training for a while. I don't know if I don't know if you know this as well. Obviously, he's been doing a lot of digging in terms of um, research and news. I don't know if you've seen it. If, they, if there's going to be any like behind closed door games in the next... There has to be. There has to be. He has to be scheduled to play for the 23s. And even when he gets so fifth, bro, get... I think fans need to allow him because, bro, you're coming back from an ACL because, like, we don't know how much minutes you've got in the legs. I would love to wake up and he can do a thing. And clearly he's going to feature some part this season. But we have to tread lightly. We've got yeah. to remember, this is a young man. And in this day and age where football, you're seeing 100 million fees. You've got to remember... This isn't a 30 odd million quid investment or whatever it was. We've got to tread carefully. Yeah. And where you look at Saliba, yeah. Thomas Partey, we've been reluctant in the right way to bring these guys in. And people need to allow him not only to get up to full fitness, but get his confidence back and be sharp. You're not going to be sharp. If he plays on the, well, not that we've got yeah. a game on the weekend, but you're going to get ripped. So it's techie, yeah. man. Yeah. I've written him off for the I, end I, of the season. I think, we, I think if we can get two, two games in a pre, as a preseason for him now, while while we're waiting um for the for the lead to come back. Obviously we don't want to give him a game where it's mad high intensity. And obviously all of them games I'm looking at them pro like from from Brighton <laughs> down it's it's it's, it's crazy in it like and it's just, right down. yeah we, you can't it's make in here, so I, I get your I get your point. I get your point but I'm also looking at it and I'm saying to myself bro if he comes in the the, the quality he can offer because that's a key word Fingers that you crossed said, he comes like, in bro I'm with you with bro, the pause. The quality I'm, that I'm he's it. got Bro, it, 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 it's different, man. Like, we're just going to suffocate teams, man. And, you know, we think about what... Was it, if you think about what Zinchenko did for us last season, Timber's going to offer that us... We offer that with the defensive responsibility as well. Yeah, and yeah it's not going to be quite Zinchenko's you know, any level, but... He's 1v1, bro, he's strong. Nice, bro. This, strong is bro. Eight, bro. this is why I want an eight, bro. This is why I want an eight, because once Timber's locked down and he's fit, you get that eight... 
we we could we could really do some shining at this football club. I'm not saying we're going to be the biggest and baddest, but we could cook Saturday, man. What do you I what do you think this season? Go on, go on. We say I would bring him back this season, though. I'm not waiting till next season, bro. That's not nah, that's long, bro. I don't want him to get hurt again. Again, it's one where I wish I was a fly on the wall at London Coley. I don't know his fitness. As you said, you know, he's come back ahead of schedule. You do see on Arsenal.com and that he's been doing training and things like that. He strikes me as a, not that him being religious has any relevance, but I only mention yeah, that because yeah, yeah, he yeah. seems to be quite resilient. And this is your kind of first test Positive. after a dream. Positive. Positive. Yeah. So, yeah, so it, as you know yourself, bro, I just, you, know, bro, you know one thing we got we, one thing we got a deep, bro. He's been fit. Well, I say fit. He's been running on grass since February, and by the time he comes back, it's April, bro. So that's two months of conditioning that a lot of players don't get. You know what I'm saying? So True. for me, I think I think that looting game. I'm not saying looting us dead because, bro, like they've surprised me. But I think it's an easier to game. So good little back bet in that period. Game. There you go. It's an easier game to bring him back there than bring him back against Brighton in a way, bro. Because Brighton away are going to keep the ball. They're going to make you run. They're going to, you know, they've got them elusive players like um uh uh and uh, uh, uh Fatty. They've got these fixtures bloody, are mad. You know, m m yeah, it's crazy, bro. So I'm not trying to bring him back in any of them games for his first game. That's just not happening, bro. And 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 to be fair, bro, we can't even we got we can't even not look, look past Bournemouth because they're scoring goals, bro. They're not. Like I'm not sitting here saying we're no they're not dead. They're not. They're not there's, dead. There's no you know so, yeah, I'm a little bit. I'm a little bit. Yeah, I'm a little bit shook about that. How do you feel like, about the I'll, last, like the end of the season? Anyways, man, there's 12 games on paper, bro. Like we're allegedly top of the league. I don't look at the league table. That's why I put this on screen. I wanted like your thoughts, man. I don't look at the league table. I looked in August. I look in May. It, for me, winning the league could be winning the Premier League, but it's also what Arteta has been doing, and players have been improving week in week out. I, I don't know anything else, but. Yeah, man. What's your thoughts, man? Right. My first point I'm going to make is I pray, pray that Man City go through in the Champions League and we play them. I don't want to play Real Madrid. I don't want none of that. <laughs> You're not alone, that's, just my, that, that, that's, just, that's just me being genuinely honest. And, and when I said that earlier on, I said we're going to come back to this and I'm glad we're talking about this. I think people need to actually calm down, isn't it? I, I genuinely do think Perhaps. people need to calm down about this. This whole Champions League, and you know where you know where we're, we're the new boys in town, so we're going to do this, bro. It's a different like, ball game. I was at that Porto game, and them players were shook. They aren't shit, but them Arsenal players were shook, bro. Like, and it's not that they're bottlers, but it's. I feel like the lights were too bright for some of them. It's a new Declan environment, bro. Tired. Bro, it's new, bro. Saka got locked even in the first up, leg. Bro. Locked up, so for Sacco me, and I do attribute, oh, no. I do attribute a bit of it down to the fact that Martinelli wasn't there to kind of you know balance out with the, the pace on the left hand side. Obviously, Trossard, I like him, but he's not got the pace, so I'm not gonna get onto him hard too too much. But I'll be very honest with you, bro. Them players were shook. Saliba, bro, it was shaky. You looked like a twenty year old so, for the first listen, time in a while, or early twenty. There you go. So I, I'm saying. Better the devil you know. And listen, stay with me for a second. Just stay with me for a second. Man nah, City I like the way this is going. Scary. Man, Man City are a scary team. But I just feel like Arteta has enough resources and information to go away and at home and navigate a win past Man City. Personally. I'd rather play City than Madrid. I don't think that's crazy. Bro, I don't I listen to Man, Real Madrid. Take that away from City. Away, they want the treble. But bro, bro. Real, Madrid, Real Madrid away are spooky. And I think people are saying, oh, because... Bro, how can you say that? Because Real Madrid, they, they, they won it. For, so Man City, they're the holders. Why are you want to fit? Bro, Bro they're, they're different. Man City ain't the Man City ain't the same team. Real Madrid, yeah. When it comes to this Champions League team, these man Carlo are and all different. of their players, man. It's different. different As you said, bro. it's different. It's different. And they're they're not getting away from back. City, but it's different and people. And 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 they're getting back. Yeah, my freaking my guy um, looking like Cecil. What's he? They sent them military. They got this. <laughs> they get a military, but they got kept not kept. They got um, uh, Tukwara, uh, uh coming back as well, bro. Like yeah. they're getting all their players and back. They got so up, maybe as well, Alaba, maybe bro, and just like, bro, the Valverdes, the Calver House. They're just too much aura bro, with Madrid. I Fair enough. Last time we went smoke. there, we won, but <laughs> bro, bro, I'll be honest with you, Courtois. I don't want that smoke, bro. I don't. I'll be real with you. I don't want that smoke, bro. At home, at home, I don't, I don't want to get beat four 0 
Not because it will be embarrassing because of lose four 0 I just don't want the players' confidence to be shot. It's, a, it's levels at the end of the day. It's levels, bro, and and we're a damn good team. But and I feel, do you know what? I'll be honest with you. I feel like we have got things that we can hurt Real Madrid with, but. Bro, we can win some battles, but we can't. I don't think we can win the war, bro. Which essentially I, I is doing that. better than them across two legs. It's a glamour tie, but I don't want that smoke. Not yet. Not not now. Next season, I'll feel quite more confident. Obviously, if they get Mbappe, it's crazy. But yeah, like I, I, I'm just a bit like, yeah, I'm not. I'm not too confident with um, playing Matt Rumble at home and away. I'll, I'll be honest with you. I, I much rather for Munich, play yeah. Man City. We can't look. We're talking Even about like, Madrid and City. Like, we Real Madrid, Real Bayern Munich, sorry, is not a walkover. Like, what do you make of that tie then? I do think they can I be mean, got out, but it's still Bayern Munich. Bro, even, even like people like, yeah, we're going to beat them, bro. Bayern Munich, bro, they're, they're, they're a good team, bro. They've got players, man. They've got Gnabry coming back. back goals, and there's plots. There's their plot. Sane is coming back to England. You've got um, Serge coming back to England, coming back to the club. You've got Harry Kane. Listen, Guy gets goals, you know he's gonna get a penalty against us. I don't know, man. I just I just think for me, you can't you can't look past Bayern Munich, bro. Like, and, and even you're right, we, I, I'm bad. I'm talking about Man City, bro. Like we've got a, a, a big, big game in front of us. Some big away games I, I, in all comps, bro. Bro, I, I I do look at I do look at my Bayern Munich and I think we've got something for them, though. I just think that the fact that we lost 10-2 against them, I do think that I hope Arsenal. So. What? I hope so. I, I do you think. We, I think we'll get past them. It's going to be hard, but it's going to be. It's going to. I think we've we've got enough to. We've got enough to do it. And I think Tuchel, if he if he's got the ego thing and tries to you know win the game off his own reputation, Shout I think we'll win because thing. he's not. There you go, Tommy Tommy Tuch. Like, I think he's trying to do too much at times. But for me, I I, I think we get past him. But the next round, I just don't want Step too to far. see. Ramajid, bro. I, I don't want to see Ramajid, bro. I, I, I'll feel good playing Man City, bro. I will. I will. I'm not saying hey, we're going to win, but I feel confident, bro. It's, I'm telling you, bro, in life, it's better the devil you know than the devil you don't. Bro. I definitely we agree. We don't know playing Ramajid away, bro, but it's it, it. you can fight demons all the time, bro, but if you're going up against something that you literally have no idea, that unknown, I don't want that. I don't want, the only I don't want the only problem. benefit I, I would the only caveat I would say to that yeah as I agree wholeheartedly with what you said the only caveat I would say is something I really really care in that it's a learning experience it's a, you know being at Real Madrid for me playing even playing Bayern Munich and if you do play City Madrid we're a good team but now there's no hiding place you get to see what to, what what's the jump now from being a good team to a great team there's them fine margins that don't work for you you know if you're a defender I, I'm, obviously I'm not saying this but if you're Benjamin White and you're playing against Vinicius you now you see how good of a defender you are if you're Saka and you're playing against whoever now you see your levels Mikel Arteta you see your levels because we've got to remember Arteta respectfully big up the manager I'm not dissing him he's a virgin in this thing as well like we're they're new kids on the block if I'm honest with you and this is why I want a bit of a fearless approach I'm not going to lie. I do think, as you said, I think uh, the, the portal game at home, and I'd say away to a degree, I, naturally, there's going to be nerves. It's uncharted waters. You're not really going to know how to swim in that. I'm just concerned about the away legs. In fact, all the away games for what it's worth in the league as well. I know we've been stepping heavy away from home, but for me, Bayern Munich away, potentially City or Madrid away from home if we get there. Man United might be crap, but as you know yourself, bro, we don't travel well there. Wolves away could be techie. Brighton is not quite the Brighton side. Brighton away is techie. And again, as you can see, I've highlighted, I can't look beyond City. Like, How do you even feel about City on the 31st? Because we have to go to war, man. Pep's been doing the war rallies and that. He said it's a final. Like, it's crazy. I think with the Man City game, I'll, I'll come back. I'll, I want to say something about the Champions League, but with the Man City game, take it away, man. I, I, I'm just, I mean, uh, uh, it sounds weird, but I'm a bit annoyed that the fact, the fact that we've got to pay them after the international break. If we had played them this coming come on, Saturday or last Saturday, bro, I think we would have packed them. You know, I think we would have packed them in. But I'm they now can be got at defensively, even though it's City. They 100. percent they can be got at, but you know, I just think that you know it gives them a little bit of a, a time to get everything recouped, everything back in motion, and set up a game plan to say, Look, this is what's gonna happen. Right. And I think that's the only thing I'm a little bit upset and a bit annoyed about. But yeah, for me, you, you're right. Listen, we, uh, we're, we're going so far forward looking at all these other games. The next game is is massive because if we can beat, if that we is can beat Man City away, if we can 
listen, we we can't lose. Just let, let's just put it like that. We can't lose. But if we can beat them, then bro, like it's it's all it's all love, a little it's all fair, bro. It's all it's all fair. Like we can do it. And I think uh, I was chatting to my guy today, and I think the uh, the issue that I've got with some of these games is you've got Spurs away, you've got Man United to get away. We can't draw. We have to win them games. And I think that's where Spurs will come and say, you know what? what? Let's spoil the party, innit? Like, Fuck them, man. Let's spoil the party, bro, because Liverpool are going to go on a nice little run because they've got a de decent little fixture list. And Man City, fixture list or hard or not, they can beat these teams home they're and sure away. They so can do this thing when it gets to crunch time as well. They can, they can go 12 games unbeaten quite easily, quite easily. And they can do it in the Champions League and they can do it in the Prem. So, for this me, is where I look back to December, bro. Had we all just beaten the Villas and Newcastles and West Ham's and all these, even Chelsea and Spurs earlier in the season, fine margins, cuz. But the thing is, though, the thing is, yeah, that, you know, the reason why we can't look at it like that is because Liverpool will say, oh, bro, but if we could only, if we only beat Luton. Oh, no, 100% everyone could. Um, but I only care about yeah, Arsenal. Yeah, I know everyone, if we're to get there, bro, I, it's I, fine I margins, cuz. You know what? When we say that, when we say that, it's almost a bit like, but we know life doesn't work like that because yeah no no I'm not I'm not saying we should be 100% all the time I'm just saying it's fine margins and it's like no, it's like I'm sure you was here the last time I said this last year I don't I'm not saying this to say Arsenal's the biggest and baddest team in the world and we're the best but I just feel there's very few times this season and actually last year bar the crazy things where we've been outplayed we've shot ourselves in the foot we shot ourselves in the mm. foot against Spurs and Chelsea we didn't mm. quite for some reason, couldn't find the back of the net for all the million chances against West Ham. I think Fulham away mm. in the league and West Ham away in the League Cup, they're the only times I'd say, you know what, we're fucking shit. There's nothing else. But this is what I feel takes us from being a good team to a great team. And you know yourself, bro, it's unfair, bro. Last year, we should have won the league. This year, this, there's enough there to win the league. But unfortunately, you've got Pep Guardiola and you've got them cop mutes moving mad. So this is why I feel we have to do this thing, fam. <laughs> like, it's, oh, Honestly. man. It's the hope that kills. Listen, man. You know, you know, I'll be honest, look, if we're looking at these fixtures here, they're brazy, bro. Wolves away, brazy, brazy. bro. Like, 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 no, like no, it ain't no. easy, in it? Like, like, I'm actually looking, I'll be honest, the easiest game on this whole fixture list is Everton at home, bro. <laughs> because as you yeah, said, it's all, it's when it done comes then, Emirates, it? Done, when it comes, there's no pressure on, the sun is shining. We know we slept teams 4-0, bro. We, we, we do this against <laughs> Everton. I don't Facts. think Everton are beating us whole in years, bro. So, listen, Everton is not even a problem, but um, that's right. I'm just there. Well, bro. There you go. I know, uh, to be fair, actually, I think Everton did beat us like 2021, but that other than that time at home, we always slept them. But for me, yeah, that's a I, really do, I, I really do think that's the easiest game out of them all, bro. Like, Aston Villa at home is not going to be easy, bro. Like, it isn't going to be a cakewalk. So, I'm just looking at all of these games and I'm like, this is where everybody starts right. bottling, though. But, 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 bro, you're, you're right. But when it comes to this time of the year, bro, last season we played Southampton. We like, we almost, that, we said it's we the bottled, nerves, fam. We almost kind of, That's why I need to know if we've learned from last year. It's the nerves, cuz. It's so, the nerves. So, hold on a second. So, who do you want to play? Do you want to play Man City or do you want to play Brian? I mean, or, 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 or uh, Real Madrid? I think we have to, you know, it, it depends, you know, we qualified for this competition to play with, to play among the best. I just think we've got to work really hard and whoever we get, you, everyone has to play tough teams, isn't it, broski? Like, they're both so good, so, so good. Like, you know, Pep Guardiola, the Lord Yo. of Madrid, you just got to go out there and try and win, in it? I think it's a privilege to be asked that question, you know, for considering where Arteta's taken. Yo, like, everybody in the UK, you know what, the elections are coming up soon. Make sure you vote DG, bro, I'm telling you, because this guy is a politician. Yo, yo. Politician, shake my hand, bro. You know what? Every time I see DG, I feel like, yeah, the live, the live, yeah, shake. <laughs> 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 difficult thing is, you know, you're going against Carlo, you're going against Pep. I don't know, man. In many ways, we already won the Champions League because we haven't been at this stage in 14 years. Yo, this guy is crazy. Yo, yo, that, uh, I think his name's Ash, 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 bro. He said, P the PR is crazy, bro. The PR is crazy. <laughs> Of course, I'd rather buck Real Madrid. I mean, the wall. I'd rather buck City. I, I think we've got more of a chance of chucking it to City than Real Madrid. But then, in many ways, maybe you know we probably we probably go out to Real Madrid regardless. But maybe we'll be better against them. Maybe the fear of the unknown could also be a strength. Of course, you know, and and I feel like I'm doing City a disservice in it because I keep thinking Champions League, Real Madrid, Real Madrid, Real Madrid. City are the current holders in it, and they've got Pep, and they have the experience. But then I look back to what. 
Foden said, apparently Foden said like he was at the game and he was saying how the Arsenal lads had nerves and stuff like that because they ain't been at that stage. Now, if we play City in the advanced stages, of course, we ain't been there. There could be nerves. But it's like you just said, it's better the devil you know. The players might sit Bro. there and go, you know, it's Man City, in it? We've seen them before. Fair enough, they, they, they're better than us, but we can give them a game. Real Madrid people might go, oh, you know, it's Bellingham and Vinicius and the aura and all of these things. But it's scary, man. Unknown quantity. I don't want that. Rochelle, honest, said, hey. bro. I keep saying this to you. I don't want that smoke, bro. I don't want that smoke, bro. I don't want that Romage smoke. I don't want it. I don't want that Romage just smoke. I don't want it, man. So it's gonna listen. One thing we gotta be real with is we've been crying out for these fixtures for years. So yeah. we can't moan. We, we can't want it to be here. We, we want to be here. We want to be here. Um, I just don't any any beatings that we take as a team. Bro, I just don't want it to be too detrimental, bro. You know what I'm saying? I don't. I don't want no cricket scores. No, four man. Yeah, I don't want four nils in that, bro. That, and that's why I'm looking at. And I'm like, I listen. I, it could be my famous last words. But I just don't genuinely. I genuinely don't believe Man City will be beating us four nil in aggregate, bro. I, I really don't. God, really please, don't, so. please. But that's this is where, but this is where it's all the psychological stuff, and that's what gives me a bit of confidence because over the last two seasons, bro, I think we do react to setbacks a lot more. Like not to boy Ramsdale, but in previous years, you know, we lose that game or draw that game one one. We're just waffling about Ramsdale's mistake if he never done it, blah blah blah. We're making it happen. Obviously, poor old mm. across two legs, we might be waffling about the first leg, but we're making it happen. Even when I felt mm. when we lost to Newcastle, they were trying to rough us up and we was reacting. That's what goes back to my point about I think we shoot ourselves in the foot and then get something out of it that's what i want to keep seeing mm. develop but as you said this is a different ball game where you talk about the champs man we basically mm. it sounds like a cliche thing but on the on paper we've got 12 games left it's 12 cup finals man like it's 12 cup finals mm. like if, if you want to go through the champs you got to get it done if you want to win the prem you've got to get it done allegedly we're top of the table the hunters have become the hunted now See it through, bro. Because as you know, there's nothing worse in life than regret. When them boys sat there in May and thought about the opportunity of a lifetime which they had, and it kind of passed them by, you've got another opportunity now. At least For me, at least run it down to the last couple of weeks of the season. Mm. And it's like mm. what you said, the longer it goes on, bro, if you're Spurs, you want to spoil the party. If you're United, you want to spoil the party. And the other teams, the Bournemouths, the Wolves, you know, they don't really fucking care about that. Villa as well. They're trying to do what they're trying mm. to do. So... We got to be in this thing, man, really, man. My last question You know what? Where, well, where's, where's, where's Wolves? Where are they in the team? Let me just quickly... Where, where's Let me free it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Where, where's Wolves in the table? Because you know what it is? is the You're first right. time I'm looking at the league table, by the way. <laughs> Swear down, Where's Wolves in the table? Fam, Arsenal top. Wow. <laughs> all right, all right. No. Don't number one. Hold on. All right, so we've got to play Brighton. Brighton are, Brighton are eighth, yeah? So they can get in Europe. Wolves on ninth, so they can get in Europe. Yeah, hold on. You're playing for something. 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 And you're playing for something. Hold on, Chelsea. Can Chelsea? What can Chelsea do? Oh, they they just want to ruin it, innit? All right, cool. So we've got to play Chelsea. Yeah, we ain't got to play Fulham, have we? No, no, no. We we shanked out. It, that's a, that's two other games we shot ourselves in the foot. Now we've got our two games against Fulham done. Big up them for smacking up Tottenham up shite as well. Bournemouth. Oh, we got we got to play Bournemouth. Oh yeah, we got to play, we got play Bournemouth. Minute. We got so, we played yeah. Palace, we played Brentford, we got to play Luton. Hold on, and, I think and, and, we've hold got on. Our two games are, against Nottingham Forest. Bournemouth are what? Oh no, they're not getting relegated. So Bournemouth ain't got crap to play for. Five we more points. They're cool. Again. Yeah, no, they didn't. No, I think Bournemouth. Have we finished? I swear we played Palace twice. No, we played Palace twice. Yeah, no, no, we, we ain't sure got. We I said we ain't got to play Palace. Twice. Twice. No, we ain't got to play Palace oh. twice. We ain't got to play Brentford again. We ain't got to play. Are we Everton's last day and Luton. Everton Luton? So, yeah, not it's kind of hard, you know. I'm not gonna lie, bro. It's, it's, this is it's a mad thing. It's it like at the end of the day, it's down to these boys. All your hard work, you know, you shanked it in the end of the year. You went Dubai, powers came into the team. It's down to you lot because I genuinely feel as much as I mock Chelsea, they'll be back. United will be back. Postacoglu, I can't lie, I like what he's doing at Spurs, but they're a long way away. City are gonna be City, but when Pep leaves. They won't, it won't be a generational manager that still be up there. I want us to be ready and strike. And if that isn't the case, while we're in a bit of a good health where other teams are transitioning, let's get something on paper mm -hmm. that's always going to be there in history. Because you know it, I know it. Last year ended well, ended poorly, but it was a good season. But there's nothing to show that 20 years from now, we're not going to remember that. Next season, this season, if that happens, yeah. we're not going to remember it, bro. We need to get something. And that's why I would have loved to. I know people don't want to hear it, but that's why I would have loved to have been in the FA Cup. Of course, I'd love to win the Premier the Champs, but we've been speaking about it, really. So, 
It's techie, bro. It's yeah, techie. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I, I've just seen as well reports that Cortar he's he's ruptured his internal meniscus of the right knee, so he's not going to be back. I thought he was, but he's literally just come just come out now. So yeah, he won't be back. So obviously. They might not wish no no injuries or no one, but that does help our cause because they're going to have uh, Kepa or is it Lunin? Lunin? The, um, yeah, Andre yeah, the Ukrainian Lunin, lad. Right? Hopefully he's in check. Yeah, can so, chat to his boy. Let's get some things go, happening. Bro, like, you know what I'm saying? Slide sign come to the table, you get me? Yeah, man, look after paper the people, then, yeah. man. Yeah, but then again, yeah, should yeah, we be so, confident for the champs? We've got a Champions League winning goal scorer in our, in our team leading the line. That was spooky, though, bro. I've like, nah, got to be shameless. I'm, I'm, not, the hope I'm, not, I'm not relying. I'm not relying on on Havertz to to lead us to glory like that. He he has to play a big role, but not to win us a Champions League, bro. I think he's um. I think he, yeah. No, nah, I'm not. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna be pressuring him like that. But listen, man. You you, you you've made some great points, man. I think. The, the, the looking past Man City, you're right, bro. I don't even know why we actually did that, but it's actually nice to see where we bro. where we can win it and oh, change things. But. But for me, I think, bro, like, so hold on. You, who do you, which one do you think is easier to win? The Premier or the Champs? For us. Mm. It's a techie one because um, in many ways, I think we're more of a cup side. Like on our day, we can cause problems. But then you've got, you've literally got more opportunities in the Premier. And I just feel, obviously teams have not necessarily won the league and they've won the Champs. But I feel a bit like City. You've got to bully up your own thing before you go elsewhere. And I don't, I feel Champions League, we've, we've, we've done our thing. Porto was the first time there's been some setbacks. I know we lost to Lons. I think Prem, because for the last two years we've been in, we've kind of been in that conversation. And as I said, I think we've been shooting ourselves in the foot. Champions League, the margins are fine. I do think you, I don't really have anything to quantify it, but I do think you need a bit of luck in certain moments moments to get through you look at Real Madrid they could have went out a couple of times they made it happen Chelsea when they the second time the first time they won it could have went out the group I think we're more likely to win the Prem as you said it's the devil you know in it you know what these teams are about you've done your homework obviously our coaches know about Real Madrid and City and Bayern and things like that but it's a different ball game and we've just popped our cherry I, I, I think Prem man 10 games to go make it happen in it like I'm more scared of Real Madrid than potentially City and all the other teams then whether we win the league or not, then of Spurs, of Chelsea, of United, etc. Because I think whether we win or lose, we can compete against these teams. Whether we win on the day is another thing that me and you can't answer. But I think the Prem, man, what about yourself? You reckon champs? I think Champions League, bro. For real? Bro, bro, I think Champions League. But I'm talking about like 70% way more chance, bro. We don't get the Bandulus like Chelsea, though, man. We can't win it on the jammy thing, man. It feels like for us... You see what it is, though, yeah? You see what it is, bro? Spurs away. Bro, we went... Bro, you remember. You re bro, we went there with Invincibles and couldn't even beat them, bro. We've beaten them once at that stadium. And we're better than them. 100%. This is the but thing. my point is, is that I just... I think certain teams like Manchester United and, and Spurs, they're going to be like, bro, we don't even need to win the game. We, we, they can draw and still they'll still lose the league because Man City and Liverpool they will win out or close as if we drop four points against them two teams, league we're done. done. Bro. League's gone. Done. When you put it like that, and I can't disagree. Man, and we've got to play Man City away as well, and we beat them in what 2015, bro. Well, since on. Francis like, Coughlin and Santi were our centre mids, Montreal was about them and, times. And just, just bearing in mind, bro, we could quite conceivably lose all three of them games. Man United away, which we lost, what, last season? Did we lose against them? Yeah, we did, because that was... That was we um, don't travel well there in the league. Spain. We won the league at their ground, bro, but that's that, a long way away Spurs from Spurs away, Spurs away, that's another spooky game. We could quite easily lose that. And then you've got Man City away. We could, So that's that's nine points already gone in the worst case scenario, yeah? I don't bro, think we could lose play... a game. That's why I don't think we're winning the league. That's I think as much point, as I want to, I just don't right, think there's no look... margin for because... When I look at Champions League, I'm like, right, cool. We, we can pack by a minute. The thing that I feel confident about is because we got the first leg at home and they got no fans. So that's going to help us. We then go away and we just we navigate that game. If we play Man City, if we play, obviously there's less games. Or if we play Man City, I genuinely believe over two games we can beat them. I, I, honestly, bro, that, that's just me being keeping it a buck. I think we can beat them, bro. I really do. Over two games. And then the last point is the final bro and someone said it bro it's i don't know if you can you swear on this channel yeah bro say what you want man yeah, yeah. bro you fuck around and find out bro like you get to the final and bro like you, you never know like you nah, know what I'm saying? final i'm more just, just as mad as it sounds yeah 
I am more confident about a final than, in theory, Real Madrid or City in the semis. Because, as you said, final, it is what it is, isn't it? It's either you turn up if you can make things happen. But also what scares me as well is, our te- I don't know why this stands out to me, but he said a few months ago, we've got one of the finished squads. Now, as you know yourself, while the man them are coming back to fitness, the squad players are doing their things, at any moment, there could be injuries, there could be other things going on. We don't know the climate. We don't even know if when we go into the City game, if part A and all of these guys are going to be about. We've got 12 finals, bro. And I don't know if everyone's going to yeah. be fit and stay fit and if the form is going to stay the same or if we react to setbacks. I'm not trying to be negative. These are just unanswered questions. I love the trajectory. But now, if we're trying to be in that room, it's like we're here. Are we going to go over there? I don't know, man. I don't know. And it's at, and it's at Wembley as well. And it's at Wembley. And we've got a decent record there, bro. We like, we've beaten Man City there. We've beaten Chelsea there. We've beaten... Bro, we've, we've, we've got a decent record there, man. So, listen, I, I'm not sitting here saying that we're going to win either. I'm not sitting here saying that, you know, one of them's more, you know, more of a, a bigger opportunity than the other i'm just saying look if you're asking me which one do i think we have a better chance i think champions league bro because it, it's not even to say as i said we could just we could win all of them games and 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 then draw a couple and then we're still not we're still we still won't win it we still what won't would win it, you rather so. win oh no nah, man I, 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 i'm surprised I, I, you, I, i'm surprised you took that long to answer champions league straight champions league we ain't done it we've got nah, a crap bro, you know, what it, know what it is uh, I, I, I hear that i hear that yeah but the bro, you see what it is when you win, when you got, when you can you claim territory over the whole league, no, yeah, no one, one can, can chat to you. No one can chat, bro. It's different, bro. It, no, but the chance, just, bro. man can't look at me funny. Man can't say nothing to me, you know, bro. Nothing. No, no one can <laughs> say a word to me because we reign supreme in the league, bro. Man, nah, bro, the whole Champions country. League. And you know what it is with the Champions League. I look at it and I'm like, all right, cool. It's important to win it, innit? But it, I, I don't know what it is to win the Champions League because I ain't won it. That's number one. And number two, bro, Chelsea finished, what, fourth and won the Champions League, bro. Like, you ain't the best team in Europe if you win the league. It's the Champions League for me. You know what I'm saying? Because they, they didn't even win the league. They all right, cool. Let me ask league. you this. If you as a player, what would you rather win? The Premier or the Champs? Forget where you're from, growing no, up, I- all that stuff. No, nah, I think as a as a player, no, nah, no, nah, I think as a player, probably Champions League, innit? I think, bro, I think as a there you go. It, the, bro, our club is to, listen, no one can lie about us. Arsenal's a big team. We might not be the biggest and, and baddest, but we've it, throughout this Premier League bit history, we've caused sleepless nights. Chelsea have two Champions Leagues, bro. Our uh, Arsenal fans, young and old, whether it's Europa League, Champions League, Cup Winners Cup. Bro, our European pedigree is just filled with pain, bro. It's fi- like it's Champions League, man. Could you imagine Cedric lifting the Champions League? Now nah, I'll be ashamed of Smith Rowe. Now nah, I'm playing Saka, bro. Champions <laughs> League would be lit. <laughs> Yo, you know what? And you know what's kind of you know the big is, you know. Crazy. Bro, bro, the I, I'm not, you know, you're, imagine you're, winning you're, you're in Arteta's right. debut you're, season. You're you're right. You are right, but I also just look at it to myself, honestly, bro. And I I, I look at it and I'm like, bro, the Prem man. Bro, man ain't chatting to me, you know. Spurs ain't chatting to me. I ain't got his Spurs fan again. You know? I ain't got his Spurs chat, fan man. again. Yeah. Bro, like, like I, I, I know. And that's my thing. Spurs got to a Champions League final. That should tell you all you need to know, bro. <laughs> I've never been so scared. Bro, you know? Big up Jurgen Klopp. That's bro, your best was, achievement at Liverpool. Hey, hey, bro, people think it's a joke. Before the Champions League final, I had a full head of hair like you, bro. That's the reason why I'm bored because they were, bro. If Spurs had won the Champions League, yeah, it would the whole bro, stadium thing goes you, out the window. It would have been a dark day for football, bro, man. Bro, it's, it would have been stressed. So for me, I'll be real with you, bro. I can't, I can't. And shout out to Raya, he did make a good point. I want both, but if you had to had a gun at my head and choose one, I'm going for the Prem, bro. I'm going for the Prem. I'm 20, 20 years. 20 years, bro. That's true. No, listen, bro. I'm happy with Ivan. You're definitely not wrong where the Prem's concerned. Like, you know, this that was the whole premise of moving to the Emirates. And, you know, there's I always feel like, well, I'm 28, turning 29 in April, save the dates, April 13th, folks. There's um, Arsenal fans that generally haven't grown up seeing us win the league. Like, respectfully to our Arteta and where Arsenal are now, probably in the last, I'd say, last three years, even when we bottled top four, that's probably the best couple man, young men and women out there have seen Arsenal Football Club, you know? Like Omri wasn't a player to them. They've they just seen him on Sky Sports. So we do need to win stuff, but it really keeps me up at night not winning the Champions League. Like, take nothing away from man when Man United won it. 
But they did the Buki thing in 99. They did the Buki thing against Chelsea, you know, where it went down to penalties. Chelsea won it on the Bandulu. Liverpool done the Bandulu coming back from AC Milan. When are we going to, even if it's a jammy one, when are we going to get that? Like, Life ain't, I know life ain't fair, but I need to see my team win the chat. Like, if, if I was on my death, God forbid, if I was on my deathbed today, bro, and God said, you know, Arsenal are gonna win the champs, I could die happy, man. You know, if, if Arsenal, if yeah. Arsenal winning the Prem, I'd be upset. I can't die without that, man. Bro, I'd be so rude with you though. I got a nephew, I got two nephews and a niece, bro. My nephew is five years old in July. Five years old, bro. He supports Crystal Palace, bro. He supports bro. Crystal freaking Palace, bro. Yeah, you didn't up, up, He literally is right in the stadium, man. Bro, oh, he fair. don't... He, bro, he supports Crystal Palace, bro. Like, he... Because Arsenal, obviously, he knows about winning now, and he? he? plays football. So, he knows... Mm. Like, he don't support Arsenal, bro. Like, he There's only nothing gravitating him towards this team. Me and my brother, innit? Bro, we need to win a Premier If he, he... And he says it, bro. Obviously, he's, he's impressionable, innit? So, as a four-year-old, if he's... Like, if we win, he'll support them, bro. Like, we need to... When you win the, the Prem... Everything else comes from there, bro. When you win the Prem, you start winning everything, bro. Like, to me, you st- as you said, as you said with Man City, you start at home and then everything else comes, man. Everything else That's comes. True. For me, I, I I just think you need to go through a little bit of pain in the Champions League, which we've done. But with this, with this squad, we need to go through the Champions League pain to then go through and win, win. But, bro, you, we've got, we've got, we should be running south. We should be running north. We should be, which we do. We should be running, at, bro. There's, should be no one to be supporting Crystal Palace, bro. Right. Nobody, bro. It, I don't care if he was five minutes from the stadium. Nobody should be supporting Crystal Palace, bro. He's obsessed with them, like. But he says if Arsenal win, bro, like, and, and it's true. But when you win at home, you get all the London fame. You get, you get. Everybody wants to be part of the club, like we're a culture club. You know what I'm saying? We are a culture yeah. club. So I do think, I think the Premier League. We need to win one, bro. 20 years, bro. We ain't won the Champions League. We we will get there. We will get there. So I don't know, man. I just I've been saying that for time, man. I don't I listen, Arteta's making me believe, but I don't know, man. I've, I've, it's a pipe dream, man. It's like getting a date with Kelly Rowland now for me, man. Like if it happens, it happens, it? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know, bro. Like listen, I thought so. I, I used to think life was fair, you know. I probably used to think life was fair until that old six final when we're like 20 yeah, yeah, minutes yeah. away from winning it. I need it's them sad. sins addressed, bro. That scarred me. And the wickedest thing is I remember being in primary school losing and being proud of my team because of the run. Like Bro, yeah, we've yeah. been on there, chief. Even the Invincibles, bro, we should have been better in Europe, bro. Even in the Europa League, we should have fucking won it. Like, why are we so shit in Europe, man? Like, I can't take it, though, bro, man. I, I've seen my team win Prems. I've seen us win it in the, at Spurs, seen us win it at United, and take nothing away, because I think you're right. We need to bully this thing first and then go over there. But if you was asking me to go back to the question, Prem or Champs, we're assured one. No one could talk, same way you're moving with the Prem, no one could talk to me if we win champs. Do you think I give a fly of monkeys about anything? I want to be like how United fans were in secondary school when they say shit players are lit because they've won champs. You think you could say anything to me about Saka? He's won champs. Say something. No, Arteta's won champs. Say enough. Say something. The only you know thing what? I would you hate know, is you know, Go on. You know, you know that my disagreement, oh, bro? I'll be real with you. When I think about it, yeah, you, listen, you, you are right, bro. You are right because then it kind of... It just gives the world world class tag and all that stuff, but bro, I Shames. just look at the prem. I'm like, bro, that's your bread and butter, bro. You've got you've got to make sure your house is in order before you go out there and start doing all this that all the other madness, bro. You, You're right. You you have to, bro. Like you have to, and I don't know, bro. I just look at the prem. I'm like, ah, oh, bro. Like twenty years is crazy, man. It's a, well, man, it's Leicester a long win, the league, win the league, man. I fuck the league, man. Just bring the chaps, man. Bring the chaps. Bring the big okay. ears, bro. Like drop it on its head as well. Break it, man. Like do <laughs> a madness. It might, bro. Like fam, I would do. But you know what? I will, you know what I will say. Man. You know, you know, you know, you know. What I will say to, uh, with the prem. It's the reason. Why I want to win it this season is because we win it on Klopp's head. Oh, bro. Oh, bro. In fact, actually, to kind of wrap this up as well, I forgot about the questions because somebody, because you mentioned Klopp, somebody said, Why does he obviously talk about you have an agenda against Liverpool? Bro, oh. it's the Coppish community. Anything to do with Liverpool, you know what it is? You know what it is? Yeah. All right, cool. Let me tell you what it is. I don't even who, who I don't know who said it, but it is what it is, isn't it? My thing is, yeah, Liverpool fans are such babies bro they they cry and moan about everything especially the and ones listen, on social every 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 uh, every fan base has terrible fans arsenal fans we are 
the loudest and we don't do shit at times, bro. So we, I, I know my own yeah. fan base. So I'm not yeah. just can be a bit anything about Arsenal fans. But the thing is with Liverpool fans is they will cry about everything. And for, this is the perfect example to sum up Liverpool fans. Klopp the other day, he called the reporter fat. They're going to be, <laughs> oh, challenged. but, you know, uh, but he was, oh, how did he say it? And maybe it was m- lost in translation. And, you know, oh, the, the reporter came out and defended him. Brother, the guy called him fat. Just own up to your shit and keep it moving. He did wrong. Nobody has nobody has to sit here and say, yeah, well, he, he's the worst person in the world because he's not, bro. I've seen, there was a video of him that came out in December where there was a guy from some little boy from Ireland and he's he got um, amputated arms and obviously his legs, he lost his legs. And he obviously the Liverpool fan, everybody saw it and he brought him into the stadium and to the training ground. Bro, he's a, that's a wonderful thing to do, bro. But when Liverpool fans are wrong, they're wrong and strong. They can't admit to anything, and they. But everything else, when it's a, when it's done to against them, they cry mercy, bro. They cry this, they cry that, they cry because they play games at twelve thirty. Brother, the game's gonna be played no matter what. <laughs> they cry about everything. They and and the most respectful way when it comes to football, not as people, they they're a bunch of simps. They 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 are they're like little weasels, bro. And if anybody needs to think about <laughs> what I think about when I look at Liverpool fans, if you haven't seen this show, it's called Recess. There's a guy called Randall. Randall reminds me of every Liverpool fan when it comes to football. They're just a bunch of little babies that will be crying. And they're like little, they're like, just to just, just grow a pair and grow up. But they're literally like, they're simps when it comes to football. Not 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 people, but they're a bunch of simps. Do you know what? I, I, I agree with you on social media. The Liverpool fans, I know, like, they take the rough with the smooth. The social media, I think all fans on social media are just, like, Arsenal fans are very special. Yeah, yeah. United fans are definitely special. Liverpool is them against Chelsea the world. Fans. Chelsea, oh, got oh, all, bro, oh. they got all the best players in the world, never on nothing. Spurs, they can say what they want. Nobody, I, I'm not hearing nothing from Spurs. Personally, I don't know no City fans like that. I know guys that used to be Arsenal fans, and I know the one-two content creators, but I don't know those City fans, so I don't they mind know. City winning things. I don't know them. I didn't grow up with them. I don't know. <laughs> Man said, Bill oh, House, man. man. I, bro, I'll be honest, bro. That, like, when you think about it, when you look at Liverpool fans, nothing typifies them more than this whole situation with Klopp. I haven't seen anybody coming out condemning, but God forbid something happened to them. It's crying, crying, crying. Bro, just grow up here. Life doesn't. They've been crying since this whole Spurs thing happened when they when they got a goal disallowed. Bro, it happens. It's it's not they got this agenda that everybody's against them man like come on man just grow up man you gotta grow up like just when it comes to football they're the worst fan base bro they 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 they, they annoy me more than everybody nah, nah, just, spurs still spurs still bro, i have to get this guys no 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 but spurs are like your little brother that they do a couple press outs think they're hench bro like you know I'll, yeah because they've never done it like, like they've like, never like, i'll accept verbal yeah, from yeah, liverpool yeah. from united from city from chelsea like there's drillers in the room you've never done that like, football ends tomorrow spurs ain't done nothing so i don't want to hear it like I, it, yeah nah, and there's a couple spurs, of good spurs, spurs fans but don't want to hear it. They're unbearable, man. They're unbearable. You're right. Yeah. They're like the little brother or cousin it. just making bad noise. Wait, you know, you're, you're, you because you're from North. Spurs, mm-hmm. you Spurs are like if you think about territory, you got Wood Green, they're on things. You got Edmonton, they're on, they're on things. You got Enfield, they're on things. You got you got you got Tottenham, they're on things. You got you you know, you know about it, but then you think about like everybody just goes up there it's cool it's, it's switzerland yeah, over them sides boys, man like, like, yeah yeah yeah, yeah. Them, them barnet boys man they're just like yo like, like literally one of my boys used to go to st aloysius so obviously when we were growing up oh shit. and i used to be bro like yeah like i'm thinking what the hell like what's going on with these boys from st aloysius but when I thought about them, I'm like, you know what? They thought they were hard, but when I like, you ain't on things like that. Like, I, just, I don't know. Anyway, it's when it's facts, man. Good time. Good time. Good time. Good time. Hey, Lee, let me let you get out of here, man. We've been close to two hours, man. It's yeah. been fantastic having you. Yeah. Obviously, yeah. me and you and Jess are going to be on her channel on Thursday, going into the Lions Den. Obviously, let people know they can <laughs> find you, man. <laughs> it's the Lions Den on Thursday, Listen, bro. Right it's now, the, bro. I know what I'm stepping Listen. into. This is right now. I'm definitely on. I'm active on this whole Twitter thing right now, man. The the, the YouTube thing right now is is it's back. It's been on it's to been my busy. signature been busy. Like, I see it all the time. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I've been I've been I've been busy. But Thursday, make sure you're there on Jesse's channel. Everybody, make sure you go over there. And now, man, I've got a bit of free time now. So 
I'll be I'll definitely be there. I'll, def- I'll definitely be back on the channel more often, man. Like, we'll definitely Come on. link up because yeah, I've just been the last couple of months, man, since December. I've just been get on to him about his own channel, people. He's leaving it uh, in the box, he's uh, doing his uh, own yeah. channel, like oh, how Arteta did Kira Tierney, like just forgotten about now. <laughs> like, no one don't care anymore. <laughs> like, come on, man, take no. it out of the box and revive that, bro. Oh, bro, it's been listen. You, you know what? I love coming on certain man's channels and that, like, and just kind of collaborating and that. So, yeah, this is you know, you know what it is, man. You know what it is. So, yeah, now we, 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 we're gonna we're gonna make sure next week we're, we're here, man. We're here, don't we? Come on, man. So, like he said, people, you know, you know where to follow him. Everything's gonna be in the description. I think I've tagged his YouTube channel in the title, so go and follow that, even though he's yeah. not moving how he should be moving. First day, we're on you know's Arsenal's channel. Obviously, me and him have spoken about close to two hours. We've spoken about anything, so whether you agree, disagree, whatever, let us know. And on that note, everybody stay blessed, stay safe, peace. Because there's always just that active and that I think it's like